You know what? I'm okay with that. What? I'm okay with this reasoning. Anyway. Give me a moment. Oh no. My Twitch up just crashed. Oh no. Wow. Oh boy. Uh, classic Twitch up. Anyway, we are live. So, hello everyone. Welcome to another session of the Sunstroke Renewal. Hello. Hello. We are today here with one and only Aries and one and only Frag and one and only DJ. Hello. Hi. Now he says to say hi. Hi. <laughs> now he says hi. But yes, we are going to be continuing the sun, the sunstruck adventure here, and uh, well, it is time to figure out what actually happened last time. So someone, Murder. so someone, recap. Okay. Listen, was it actually murder or more of ma uh, ma manslaughter? The fuck. Ah. Uh. Double homicide, I feel it was. Hmm. But, yeah. Um... Which degree? Doesn't <laughs> matter, it doesn't exist in this world. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, we started out in a dungeon that happened to be, uh, poison. Poison. Um, wandered around for a bit. Because finding out that everywhere that was like a jump that had it just was toxic sludge everywhere, and eyeballs were just looking at us from the sludge. <laughs> uh, go a little further, run into a muck that came out of the sludge. We decided to fight him. Um, he got hurt by razor leaf, which is something that should not be happening, <laughs> but it did. He was confused. Almost After. everyone got at least one step of poison. You had Except double poison, didn't you? Yes. I had double well, poison. Even. You had poison for like a one turn and then you refresh. Not even a full turn, literally for yeah. five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but Thrak had fucking double poison, almost toxic because he kept biting it. I think the only one who didn't get poison was Poochiana. But that's beside the point. So we beat the muck up, continue through the final objective, which was a mill tank, a survivor, and a Zangoose. Uh found out they had a captured EV captive. So we sneak up on them, attack, everyone gets a fucking crit. And we kill Survivor and Miltank outright. While and leaving. the only reason why Zangoose lived was because he had a special ability. That means <laughs> one hit don't exist. He always gets left at one HP if he would be one hit. It's like sturdy, but for a normal type. Yes. So he got hit by that. Then he got mad at us for killing his team, even though he was the one that was pillaging and... Just, like... Disrupting the peace and like making everybody scared in the town nearby, and decided to say, "Oh yeah, I'm on one HP, but I'm gonna fight for my friends who you just killed." Yeah, good choice, buddy. <laughs> Knock him out, tie him up with his own rope, take the gear off of the survivor and mill tank, and thing is, mill tank and survivor had old guild badges. Um. We rescued the Eevee from the cage. He was terrified turned, of us. Turned Ember into Great Wolf Sif. <laughs> yeah. Then, after that, we got out. Uh, took the fugitives. Well, the one fugitive and the two dead bodies, I think, to the, uh... Get, like, turned in, I guess. I don't know what you want to call that. Be turning a dead body. The morgue. I mean, you don't have prison or morgue. Yeah, so we just dropped them off at where we have to take them. And it's like, here's two dead bodies and a prisoner. Have fun with that. 
<laughs> yeah, and then at that exact same time, we happened to get a message that, uh, oh yeah, by the way, hey, uh, that village was attacked. Uh, they are very injured. There was apparently a defender that was beaten very brutally. I asked who it was. They said, oh yeah, it was uh, an Umbreon. So we decided, oh, oh no. My character's family is in trouble. Uh, we should probably go now. You know what? Here's a note for the mayor. Uh, we're going now. Bye. <laughs> yep. And then we go there. Even see the town is kind of busted up because of them. Find Umbreon. Who was... He was thankfully alive despite being very brutally beaten. And, and my beaten first... My first interaction with him was here, have some lemonade. I mean, <laughs> it, it helped him. <laughs> yeah, he has less wounds now. Uh, when we got there, Amber turned into a Leafeon. And pretty much Umbreon yeah, was... Then a lot of... <laughs> yes. A lot of uh, roleplay between you know, back and forth, telling him about me, and he was already uh, suspicious of me being a human, but you want some poppin' sorry? Why? Uh, but anyway. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, he was already suspicious of me being a human in his uh, sister's body in the first place, but he doesn't seem to mind too much because apparently I'm very, very much like her. Uh, there was a lot more roleplay back and forth, just chatting. And then, at the end, we decided it might be good if someone goes back and talks to uh, uh, the Shinx or Bolt because we kind of <laughs> we kind of had a very oh, what's the word uh, traumatizing well, we, experience. Uh, we had a very experience. Uh, we had a minor uh, assist us in a fucking manslaughter. Yes. So, we decided it might be a good idea to send someone back to go spend some time with him, cuddle him, talk to him, and I would like to do so myself, but I need- I have to do things here, so I entrusted Ember to do so. Also, I fucking love how this is, like, uh, the second dungeon he got uh, into with us. In first one, he saw me absolutely murder two fucking gabites. And not Gabites. The... Bagans. Yeah. Bagan. Yeah, Bagans. And in the second one, he was like, alright, how about I just fry some fucking Miltons? <laughs> yeah, the problem is now he's learning to participate. You guys are monsters. Yes, yes, we are. We're trying not to be, but it just ends up like that. It's alright, kid. Just attack who we attack and talk with who we talk to. But I mean, in all fairness, how do you think that fight would have gone without the sneak attack, Finn? It would have been interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna say rollout. Exactly. Miltank will roll out. We just defeat Miltank before she can boost her rollout, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say every time I'm gonna see Miltank, I'm gonna sneak attack on, on that bitch. I despise the rollout. Fucking Whitney. Never play Jodo. Oh. So. Yeah, uh, did all that, I guess. Um, after a while, Ember went with, yeah, Umbreon back to the town as Leafeon, and I'm pretty sure Umbreon thinks this is a date with Leafeon now. Boy, he's gonna be. I mean, we did kind of set him back. up as if it was a date. Yeah. I mean, that's on him for picking an, a leafy on to go to the Eevee village with. <laughs> yep. I mean, <laughs> you gotta... that's on him for even changing into a fucking Eevee Lucian. Yep. He could have been anything else. Hell, he could have been another Grookey. 
and would have been fine, but now he just went into an evolution and just got himself a date. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think oh god, I, I just realized Eevee just give okay. Eevee just got just got her brother a fucking date. Yep. Yep. What the fuck? And the funniest part is this particular date may not be an actual you know evolution, but they are still in the same egg group and the same type. Hmm. Oh fuck, they're even the same type. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Then this is much made in heaven. <laughs> he knows the rule and He can literally Umbreon. be anyone Umbreon wants, is, or I guess she. She can literally be anyone Umbreon wants. Is the rule is like the the is like a the four legged version of Ditto? Kinda, except Ditto actually changes, but this is just an illusion. Yeah. And only if it's like, what, an entire verse? Mmm, we don't know. YouTube is, fucking, is, is very bad about that now. Yeah, sometimes it's an entire verse, sometimes it's a one second. Yeah. It, it depends. That's fair. But yeah, that's pretty much the well everything we did. <laughs> Alright. So, shall we begin? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright. So we are gonna take these two uh lovebirds uh, to the side. Uh, recap is one XP or two? Uh one. One. Okay. Guess I know what's right. Is two. Okay. Speaking of which, I think I forgot to add XP from last session. Oh, then you should oh. totally do that. Yes. I have 22 XP out of 28. Alright, so, based on my notes, you guys are staying at the EV village. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Because, uh, because you guys have helped... And because you guys uh, are not being assholes, you will be provided lodgings. The lodgings will be inside a, inside a tree hollow. Like you can see that there okay. is, that there is uh, you know, it is a simple room inside a tree that uh, has very basic, uh, you know, hay beds and very basic furniture. It is very obviously designed with guests in mind. Oh, even the guests bigger than Evie? No. Ah, right, so I actually am still going to sleep on top of the tree. Sadly. Well, <laughs> but you would you but you would still be provided a hay bed inside. Well, I guess my brain is just too big. And the funniest huh. part is, I know my brother wants me to stay with him and the family for the night, so... Chances are it'll probably be just Grooky in here. <laughs> hey, Grooky wanna vibe on top of the tree looking at the stars or some shit? Grooky? Grooky? What? Sorry, is it... My mind blanked right there, literally. Ah. Okay. Do you want a vibe on top of the tree, looking at the stars or some shit? Yes. <laughs> well, Rather than being in that room alone. I guess <laughs> nobody is using the guest room. Wow, well, I, I, they went through so much trouble to set it up. We I mean, were here for like 10 minutes. They went through so much trouble to set up the guest room for you. <laughs> Just remember, Eevees have teeny tiny little leggies. Yes. Actually, do we know if uh, the Dracloak's uh, head is flexible? Uh, well, we know about the anime that it is big and it, it does not bend. Uh, 
support right. I mean, you could literally use the bed as a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so while Grookey and Draclog would be left to the, uh, you know, thingies, Eevee. Yes. Uh, so I assume you're sticking around uh, your group, right? Uh, kind of. I'd also be taking a look around the village. Okay. So, as you would be going around the village, eventually there would be another Eevee that would uh, make their way in front of you. That would uh, cause me to stop and look them over. Yes, this is a bigger EV than you, and it is a male EV. Uh. This EV is looking looking at you with sort of a stern, almost angry expression. Other? I'm gonna lift a paw and wave. He, he closes the distance with you. And lo looks down at you. Uh, hi there. So that's all you have to say. <laughs> well, I'm guessing your dad. I'm currently waiting on Umbreon to come back before I was planning on talking to you, but I guess, uh, hello there. We're here now. Your brother is too busy uh, escorting uh, one of your townies uh, back to your town. Oh, I'm aware. I was planning on waiting for him to get back before I spoke with you guys, but... Uh... Oh well. I guess I was planning on speaking with you guys anyway, so it's not you're, a big deal. You're not even gonna apologize. Well, I do have a lot to apologize for, but preferably in a more private environment. He sighs and uh, just turns around, and uh, when he turns around, he just says, follow. Um, I will follow. Alright. So he actually leads you to one of the... Uh, to one of the trees where there's a staircase that leads you into the upper area of the village. Okay. And in the upper area he leads you to a different tree that actually has what uh, could be only described as, uh, you know, home. You know, basically a couple rooms connected together into sort of a house built into a tree. So kind of like the tree house that I was given as a safe house at the start, except connected through the trees in a staircase rather than a ladder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can see two other uh, small EVs uh, just looking at you. And uh, you can see another bigger EV, but this time female, uh, currently in the process of putting down uh, bowls of uh, fruit. At a table. Okay. I can only assume that that would be mother. Yep. As your uh, quote-unquote father uh, enters, he just says, All right, she's back. Everyone turns at you, looking at you. Uh, before I get your hopes up, temporarily... But, uh, would yes. you would you assume is your mother uh, just drops a bottle of the bowls and rushes towards you? Oh boy, I brace for impact. You you get impacted with aggressive hugging. <laughs> Hi. Yep. Your quote unquote mother is currently hugging you, and she's like, "Oh, I was so worried. I was so worried. Never do this ever again." I'm fine. I'm a lot tougher than I look. Uh, eventually, she let, she lets go of the hog. Uh, she looks you over, checks checks your tail, checks your ears. <sighs> you know, just looks over your your entire body, checks your legs. 
Lin nods to herself and says, Ah, it appears you are mostly alright. Yeah, except I'm... for the broken fucking spine. Hold on. What'd you say, Dirk Cloak? I mean, she just broke her fucking spine, dude. Oh, true, yeah. <laughs> except for that. <sighs> um, yes. They're fine. Anyway, uh, you you must be hungry. Please, uh, let's uh, let's talk at the table. I, I I bet your brothers want to see you too. Oh, uh, sure. I will just nod and follow her to the table. Yep. There is one spot specifically for you. You know, both your quote unquote mother and father sit down as well, and uh, very soon you are now surrounded by two your size Eevees who just kind of start looking you over. I'll lift a paw and give them a, a small wave. Hey there. Yeah. One of them just kind of pokes your entire body with his face. And the other one is just kind of like looking you over. Uh, when you say poked hit my body with its entire face, do you mean he's like sniffing me over, or he's doing like a cat hug? Uh, like a cat hug, like like with with a face. Ah. Uh, okay. uh, you you would see that this is a very common thing among EBs uh, in the village. Okay. I kind of just stand there a little bit awkwardly as he does. Maybe give him a gentle head pat. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you have a bowl in front of you that is uh, filled with uh, small berries and apples. Okay. You would, also, probably just... you would also have a little uh, container to the side, uh, which obviously has water in it. Nice. Okay. Well, I would. I suppose I'd uh, get to munching a little bit while I'm waiting for my parents to be finished with whatever they're doing before they get to the table. Oh, they're actually already at the table. Oh, all right. Your, your father is I'd... not your father is not looking at you, but your mother is uh, definitely looking at you with if you're pretty sure she's like on the verge of crying. She's so happy, okay? Psych. <laughs> so, I guess uh once everyone's all here, I'd kind of just uh step up with, with like my little four posies on the table. And say, well, uh, so I suppose I should probably get right into it. Are you are you sure? You 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 can absolutely rest. You you are back home. You do you don't need to you don't need to hurry, you don't need to do anything right now. Well, uh yes, I, I plan on spending the day with you guys, but um I should tell you I sadly can't stay. What do you mean? You should you just got home. I'm gonna nod and say, I mean, yes, I I came back mostly just out of respect because, well, I'm just gonna be kind of completely honest with you guys and just. By the way, when you say out of respect, uh, your quote unquote father just uh, giggles to himself. I'm just gonna kind of give it give a small sigh and say, well, I I genuinely mean that, but um. I'm not... I'm not your daughter. So that gets everyone to stop. Uh, your father actually looks at you and says, Is this some kind of joke? I'm just gonna shake my head and say, According to Umbreon, I am very much alike her. So, I guess it would be easy to mistake, but, um... I'm your daughter in body, but not in spirit. I'm sure you've heard of the humans that can sometimes inhabit Pokemon. Uh, well, your brothers do not know what you are talking about. Uh, the dudes do. The dudes just look at each other. And uh, so you definitely can see that like uh, your mother is... Uh, Expression uh, goes from uh, very happy about you being here to suddenly being very sad. I just my own ears are gonna kind of droop at that 
because I don't like upsetting them, but at the same time, they need to know the truth. And I'm just gonna say, yeah, so, um, it seems some sort of godly force around here has seen fit to, uh, put me in her body to serve some sort of higher purpose here. I'm still not entirely sure what that purpose is, but sometime at some point i should be able to figure that out i mean <laughs> i guess to kind of put it into perspective for you as of right now i just refurbished and started up a new guild if that tells you anything about our actual differences between me and your daughter so your quote-unquote father just looks at you again with that same stern look he had before and just says Ibi, are you sure that this is not some kind of joke? Are you are you sure this is not just you trying to yet again uh, le leave the village? Well, has your daughter ever talked about joining or even let alone becoming the guild master of a guild? Yes. Has she? Well, I do not know about any kind of becoming something, but uh, she did want she did want to travel. Well, I mean, I guess this is definitely one way to travel, so I guess I'm... Who knows, maybe I'm her spirit animal. That is a little bit odd to think about, but um, anyway. Uh, the point is, I wish I was just joking with you, but I am not. I am a human, and I am cohabitating with your daughter in her body. Oh, that's a sentence. Uh, you, you can see your mother just start leaving the table. That gets my ears to droop even further. I'm really sorry. I wish I had any say in the matter. Yep, if I could have a body of my own, I would. She just very quickly goes to one of the side rooms and you're pretty sure she's crying. That gets me to just kind of sit back down a little bit, upset. I... I didn't want to hurt anyone, but I also figured it was probably best to just tell you guys the truth before any confusion. So, your quote-unquote father uh, turns all the way and turns towards uh, the smaller EVs uh, that are next to you. He looks at him and says, please, uh, go, to, go to your mother. They just nod and uh, hurry towards her. Right. Uh, your father looks at you and says, Alright, so... Let's say I believe you. What does this mean? When would our daughter be back? Well, I have yet to find that out. I've, uh, so... I've heard pretty much just about... Uh, I don't even know how many stories about this sort of thing happening, but... In some of them, the once their purpose is completed in the world, whatever purpose the god set forth for them is completed, they leave. Their soul is sent back to the world they came from, and they're never seen again, and the Pokemon they're inhabiting gets their body back, albeit a lot stronger. Um, but in other cases, the humans never leave the body, so... Sometimes there's no real telling. It kind of depends on whichever god brought me here and what they expect of me. He just nods to himself and says, Well, you definitely know too much about uh, strange things. I'm gonna take that as a proof that you are not actually our daughter, just yet again trying to find a reason of what to leave your home. I'm just gonna nod at that and say, Yeah, I mean, there are definitely some... Pretty crazy stories I could tell you that I can guarantee she would have no idea about herself. No. Well, you have to understand that this is very difficult for us. No, you I absolutely do understand. That's why I decided it would be just best to give it to you straight so you can take your time and process it. And hopefully Umbreon should come back soon within a few hours so we can all 
spend some time together and you can actually get to know me. But apparently, uh, our son was uh, going uh, towards your town with uh, a friend. So I do that not gets... know. So I do not know if. Uh, uh, what am I? What, 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 what am I even saying? That, that he's an adult. He can do whatever he wants. I was gonna kind of get a small smirk out of me, and I'm just gonna look up at him and say, just as a little secret between you and me, that friend of mine that I'm sure everyone very clearly saw was a Leafeon. <laughs> she's she's not actually a Leafeon. What do you mean? Magic. Well, uh, my friend is very special. She, well, I'm sure you've heard of a Zerua before. He shakes his head. Well, uh, imagine a little fox Pokemon. Welcome, Ember. Speaking of little Ooh. fox Pokemon. Yes. Uh, so imagine a little fox Pokemon who's all red and black, about our size, actually. Maybe a little teeny bit smaller in length. Um, and they're, they're a dark type. But they have a magical ability to turn themselves visually into any Pokemon, any Pokemon they have seen. It's a uh, an illusion. They can make themselves look like anyone. He just blinks a few times, shakes his head, and says, "Anyway." Yeah, she uh, she was a little nervous about entering a village full of Eevees and not being some sort of Eevee herself, and uh, <laughs> she made the mistake of choosing one that would uh, steal the heart of our resident Umbreon. Eevee. I'll perk up a little bit and look at him. What I wanted to say is uh, we have had a lot of difficulties lately, and... Uh, when Umbrian mentioned that you have returned, it definitely gave us a lot of hope. Yeah, I, I do understand that, and I apologize for getting your hopes up, but I figured the best way to go about this was to come here, meet you all myself, and tell you the truth. Rather I know, than just leaving you in the dark for how many months. I know that somewhere inside is uh, our daughter still. And because of that, this house is yours as it is hers. I will nod at that. Yeah, I appreciate stream? that. Huh? Yep, yeah, he's stream? streaming. Because I know someone who wants to watch and who might potentially be interested in Moonstruck, so... Oh, okay. Awesome. But, but yes, um, yeah. I, I, I know that somewhere deep within you is our daughter, and because of that, I uh, I would just like to ask you, no, I demand something of you. That is reasonable, of course. Protect her. Do not, let, do, do not let any harm happen to her. I will give that a nod and say, I, I promise. And as far as that goes, I've already made her a lot stronger than she probably ever was. I mean, those Pokemon that were terrorizing the village, between me and my friends, we've already, well, eliminated them. Dealt with them. <laughs> he nods and just says, You see, there's many more things in the world than strength. Um, Yes, uh, I, I'm aware. Just uh, figured I'd at least let you know that you can rest easy that the village will never be attacked by those Pokemon again. There will always be more. More Pokemon will come and they will hurt us. It is the way of the Eevees. But uh, either way, yes, I, I will do everything in my power to keep her alive make her stronger and uh, honestly I have no idea how she will be if I ever 
am removed from her body. We can wait for that. I appreciate you understanding. Um, so I su I, sh I suppose I should probably leave the uh, talking to her mother up to the boys. Yeah, so I'm going to go uh, talk to my mate. You should probably eat some. Eat some. Eat some food. I'll nod at that. Uh, he points to to the, one of the side rooms and says, "That's uh, where the little ones usually sleep." You should. You should take the your usual. He then stops with himself and just says, "Her usual bed." I'm guessing it would be pretty obvious which one is hers. Yes, it is the one. Uh, uh, it is the one that has uh, that has uh, the little straw made doll. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll just nod at that and say, "We'll do," and then. Before he even like looks away, I will pr show that I'm agreeable by p throwing a berry in my mouth. So he finally smiles a little bit. Uh, he looks to where his uh, "quote unquote" wife went, and then he looks at you again. And says, "I um, I do need to calm her down." I will nod at that and say, yes, I, I do apologize for all the stress, and I'll be here when you get back. He nods, he gets up, and he goes to the side room. You're left alone in the room. <sighs> okay. Well, this day just got uh, interesting. You think that you didn't have to go to them and tell them, you know? I know. You could the whole time. You could have pretended you are you are their daughter, and uh, everything could have been e much easier for you. Yes. Or for them. Well, I don't know if it would have been easier for me because I mean, if I were to act like their daughter, how easily would they let her leave the village again? That's definitely a question. Man, you could have <laughs> flying fucking ghost dragon, mate. That's I'm not what aware, he means. But... Yeah. But anyway, I'll just kind of start munching away on some of the food there. And probably try to listen in on what uh what's going on. Well, it's not a very loud con conversation. Mm, fair enough. Yeah. Probably by the time you are done with the food, uh, the two other EVs uh, just show up. Well, they were actually very really warm towards you and just like uh, generally being playful with you. Kind of like a family of EVs would probably be. Uh, they just kind of look at you from the doorway. As if they were looking at uh, a ghost. Yeah, I don't blame them, honestly. I'd probably just kind of be shifting there a little nervously because I don't want to cause drama or trouble amongst them, but it's not exactly my place to act all warm and cozy with them because they're not my family. And I don't want to... Yeah, like, they're not trying to be cold towards you. It's just a very complicated situation that they do not actually know how to parse to. Yep. And then it's exactly the same on my end. I mean, I, I'm not exactly sure how I can remedy things myself. I mean, if I could figure out how to get a little more, like, just one more logic, I could probably flip back and forth between me and her so they could actually speak with their daughter, but I have yet to figure out how to get that. But yeah. So they make it to the table, and they just uh, get eaten. 
I'd probably just kind of be sitting there awkwardly, not sure what else to say. Yeah, well, one of them just keeps looking at you, by the way. The one uh, from uh, before who was just poking his face into you. I'd probably eventually turn to him with a, a like a small smile and say, um, Hi. Uh, his ears drooped a little bit. He just opens his mouth and says, um, Hi. So, this must all be pretty weird to you, huh? He nods. I'm sorry that uh, it had to be your sister. If I had any control over it, I would probably get a body of my own. It's alright. If it makes you feel any better, I do... I do sometimes feel of her emotions, and I definitely feel her love towards you. And I'm gonna, like, give him a gentle rub on the head. Uh... That definitely gets, like, this, uh, awkward smile from him. Needless to say, I can definitely tell she cares a lot about all of you. It's just weird, because you look like her. You feel like well, her. Well, that's because I'm in her actual body, so... In all physical respects, I am your sister. Just... I'm gonna, like, just tap my head and say, But in the mind, and who's in control, is not your sister. I know. I'm really sorry. I... I know this is a really hard thing to grasp. But I will do my best to not only keep her safe, of course, and, you know, be as strong as I can be, but to also be in tune with her. Yep. Which yep. apparently I'm already doing very well, I guess. Yep. He just nods and says, you do kind of act like her. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure I say some pretty funny things that you've never heard of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, let's just say I know a lot of things about this world that most Pokemon probably wouldn't know. But yeah, um, eventually you finish, you know, everyone at the table finishes food. Uh, the, the father of the family, uh, you know, just shows up, uh, takes the two bowls of fruit and uh, brings them to the side room. Obviously there's more, uh, there's more need uh, of uh, calming down. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you, you would eventually be left at the table with two uh, younger Eevees than you and everyone was just kind of very awkwardly quiet. Ah, uh, so I am the middle child. Yes, you are the middle, Umbrian is the oldest, and then, and then there's uh, two other brothers that are younger than you. <laughs> uh, wonderful. <clears throat> I'm pro well, while the adults are out, I'd probably, I guess, to stir the silence, turn towards them and say, well, so... Since I personally don't know anything about you, how about uh, we start our new friendship off with you guys telling me all about you? Uh, the one from be before just looks at you and says, um, well, I'm Eevee. I'm gonna smile and nod and say, well, um, the human, me, I'm Ares. Uh, he tilts his head and says, but, but you're Eevee. Well, in body, yes, but me as a human, I my name is Ares. Oh. It's kind of like the thing that, I don't know if your parents have told you about guilds, but it's kind of like the thing that guilds do, except my entire species does it. Oh, um, we know about the guild. Yeah, well, I suppose, I mean, specifically the thing about them coming up with special nicknames for themselves. 
Yeah, my entire species does special names like that. We don't just call ourselves, Hi, I'm human, or Hi, I'm human. Especially considering there's about 8 billion of us on in my world that get really, really confusing really quickly. Uh, the Eevee on the other side uh, of the table uh, lives his paw. I'll look over at him. Yes? Aren't, aren't humans supposed to be big and scary? Uh, some of them can be, yes. There are definitely a lot of bad humans, but there are a lot of good humans, just like Pokemon. There are a lot of really good Pokemon. I'm gonna look at that and smile. And then there are a lot of really bad Pokemon, too. So. Points at yourself? No, I don't point at myself. I'm in that moral gray area, okay? You're a murderer, my dude. Not by intention. That's why I say I'm in that moral gray area because I didn't want to murder them, but and a jerk. <laughs> I, I, I I am a jerk. I don't mean to be, but sometimes I do things that I feel like I'm sparing people feelings, and yeah. I'm trying to do the best I can, okay? The kids are watching you just having a mental breakdown. <laughs> Talking to some weird spectral voices that only I hear. <laughs> but anyway, uh, back to them. But yes, so there are good Pokemon, there are bad Pokemon, and just like that, there are good humans and there are bad humans. But not... But yes, I, I, I promise you, I'm here trying to be one of the good humans. The Boja's not? I may not always do the best thing, but I do the best I can. Um, so since you don't remember anything, um... Uh, if we have another brother... He, he is Umbrian. I, I do know that much. He was actually the first of you that I met. I met him while I was actually traveling through the woods. He actually knocked my entire... Well, they were already asleep, but he made them more asleep. To the point where they wouldn't wake up in the middle of the night. But, um, yeah. I met him in the middle of the travel to a, a, a mystery dungeon. Yeah, he's really tough. I can tell, considering he survived a battle with those three that um, we took out. He he would have to be tough to do that all by himself. Is it true that you that you saved uh, did you save the neighbor's Eevee? I'm gonna nod at that and say, yeah, we did. Um, she was actually captured by those mean Pokemon. So once we beat them up, uh, we got her back, took her home. So that definitely uh, gets his attention. He, 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 his ears are standing up as he's listening. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this is definitely going to be a very doctored version, but uh, yeah. So we, as guild members, we got a, a mission posted to our board to find some Pokemon that were terrorizing not only you guys, but the whole surrounding area. They were what used to be called an a survey team, but now they are called an X survey team because they still stick together and now they're just doing bad Pokemon things. So we took that mission, we went to where they were hiding, and we beat them up. Yep. <laughs> you have his attention. You you are definitely getting um you're getting a feeling that uh, this one is definitely more on the adventurous side. The other one is not really paying attention to this, by the way. <laughs> Sounds about right. And, uh, well, there are definitely a lot of stories I could tell you. I mean, I've only gone on so many adventures in this life, but um, I know a lot about the stories of all the Pokémon that um, have become heroes in this world. Oh, have you have you ever fought the Pirate Queen? Well, obviously I haven't fought the Pirate Queen yet. I've only been in your sister's body for 
counting on my paws uh, about a week now. Oh. Do you want to see her? See the pirate queen? He nods. That's my my little doll, isn't it? Uh, he does as a... No? Your doll is your friend. Who's the pirate queen? I'll be right back. Uh, he, he just like slides off and uh, runs towards the room that you were told that uh, that's where you sleep with the other little ones. Oh boy. Uh, the other one rolls his eyes, lays his head uh, on the table, and you just hear, here we go again. Uh, so, is the more adventurous one the one that was also more cuddly, or is the one yes. that's not very adventurous the cuddly one? Yeah, the the more adventurous one was the one that was more cuddly. Okay. But yeah, uh, after a few moments, uh, he returns with a little basket. And, oh no, oh no, you have unleashed a demon, you just do not know it. Oh no. Uh, oh boy. You, you you see that he actually has managed to like carve out a little like wooden uh, figurine of a Pokemon. You know that like on pieces of parchment he, with charcoal he has been drawing this Pokemon. Oh no. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, no. I'm just going to offer him a friendly smile and watch. Yep, and he's just like showing you and like, yeah, yeah, this is the pirate queen. I've, I've seen her once, I think. I'm going to look at the drawing and try to see if I can identify who that might be based off of a child's drawing. Uh, it, isn't, it is not actually too bad, and you can definitely tell based on certain uh, aspects of the drawing uh, what Pokemon this is. Oh? Uh, it is a Pokemon called Primarina. Oh... I know that Pokemon. Hmm. I wonder if that's the same one. Uh, so... I don't... You guys don't know this, but, um... The guild that I just became a... I'm gonna, like... Think for a second and say... Uh, the guild that I just became a boss of... <laughs> yes. Uh, the guild that I just became a boss of is, uh... Well, they used to be... Well, uh, how to put this? The old boss was a Primarina. Um, the same Pokemon is at pointing to the drawing. Uh, the, the, the little one ju eyes just go wide and there's stars in them as he says, You know the Pirate Queen? Um, I'm not sure if it's the same one, but yeah, I uh, know a Pokemon. He, he, he puts his tiny paws as we are talking. He puts his tiny paws on, on, on your chest and says, could I see her? Could I talk to her? Uh, I don't know her personally. I could show you a picture of her one day, though. That would be awesome. I'm gonna nod at that and say, well, then I guess I have a reason to come back now, don't I? He wildly nods. <laughs> In my head thinking, oh my god, why are Eevees so adorable? Because they are Eevees. Yes. And, uh, there's a... And if it makes you uh, feel any better, your sister is now sitting in the same seat and controlling the same guild that she used to. Yep, uh, he, that did it. Yeah, congratulations, you, you, have, you, you have now recruited uh, a pet Eevee. <laughs> I don't think my, air quotes, parents would like me taking him along with us. Yeah, uh, he is now going to be stuck to you like a fucking, uh, like a leash, uh, just trying to listen to any stories that you can provide. Well, uh, then how about we uh, say I start revering him with stories of the Pokemon that have saved the world, and we cut to Ember and Leafeon, or Ember and Umbreon. Yes. So... Uh, a little bit back in time, Leafian, or I should say Zoro. Yeah. So your friends uh, leave you, and Umbrian uh, just kind of looks at them, then looks at you. 
And I will look back and I'll say... I... Don't think I'm cruel enough to keep this up. Um, and then... I'll say... you Listen, Umbrian, I think you're fantastic and all, but... <laughs> I'm not exactly who you think I am. Oh. Uh, uh, he tilts his head and says, what do you mean? Well, I'm going to immediately transform back into Zoro. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Lies. Deception. <laughs> um, yes, the deception came from Ares and the rest of the group. Hey, I didn't say anything. I just told him to walk you back to the town. Yeah, we never said that you were a Leafeon. We didn't deceive yeah, him. Yeah, uh... Lying by omission. <laughs> so, uh, Umbri... So, for a moment, uh, in his eyes, you see a little bit of hurt. But, but, he sh he, but he shakes it very quickly and just says, It's alright. I just thought you should know the truth, because I'm not... I'm not cruel, unlike certain Pokémon. Yep. What? He, uh, he just quietly nods. I only took that form because... I knew this village was a village of Eevees, and I really didn't want to seem out of place. I apologize. He nods again and just says, makes sense. Oh, you do still want to go back? I can yes, still, I do. I can still escort you. I mean, if you want, I, I, I'll, I'll. Either way, if if you really want to, I'll. You can, uh, he lifts his paw and puts it on your mouth and says, "Shush." Um, okay. <laughs> There's his big brother coming out again. But yeah. Uh, he just looks uh, over uh, over to the entrance to, to the village and just says, "We should probably go if you want to come, get back uh, anytime soon." Yes, I am really worried about Bolt. He tilts his head. Bolt. Um, a it's a little shanks um, that um, we've been taking care of. And has been coming with us on missions. Uh, for some for some reason, after the last one, he locked himself in his room. I really want to take care of and see what's wrong. Yep. He, he nods again and says, "Is uh, Shinx your brother?" I'm actually I. Kind of. <laughs> I don't. I don't he, know if we're related by blood or not, but we do share some traits. Uh, he he nods uh, to that and just says, "Then it is your duty." Anyway, you should follow. And I will follow him. So, uh, you can definitely tell that he's, you know, somewhat less, uh, awkward around you. you know, like, he's, he's definitely, uh, much more of a casual about the walk now. That's good. I really didn't want this to be awkward. <laughs> So, uh, most, if you do not initiate conversation, he will not initiate conversations on his own. He's definitely that type of a uh, person. Oh, good, so am I. Oh no. <laughs> and, like, it's not like the kind of like the awkward silence, as in uh, more like he just doesn't really know how to initiate a conversation. I'm appreciative, of, and but I can't. There can never really find anything to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. It's two two quiet people traveling. At least Ember can talk, unlike Oreo. Ouch, DJ. <laughs> wow, that was uh, ooh. 
How many times have we got to force him to talk? And he's the leader of our group? You know, I'm doing my best to get him to talk. <laughs> I mostly just feel relieved now because... <laughs> Yeah, he was a little bit hurt, but uh, it's okay. I think it would have been more of a hurt if he had found out a different way than uh, <laughs> the me telling him. Yeah, you can definitely tell that uh, in his mind he was thinking of all of the different ways how to uh, maybe like deliver on that. And then on some level he was definitely hurt. On another, this was a massive burden of his chest. But yeah, uh, he does actually know some really quick ways how to go back to Kapem. I have he... to keep 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 an uh, eye on this because that might come in handy in the future. Yeah, um, he does uh, lead you through some really strange paths. Like you know, he he takes you to an empty trunk into like an underground area, and it does look like you are lost until he just kind of vibes through a hole and wow you just skip like what was an entire river that you guys had to go around you're really good at this uh, he looks at you and says i've been living here my whole life i can tell you're very familiar with the area he notes and protect the village Uh, he would uh, look forward and uh, just say, "My, um, my sister is not actually my sister." Yeah, I'm familiar with that sort of thing, considering some sort of in a similar situation to her. It's difficult to think about. I think I'm kind of in the same boat because I'm really feel guilty about being in this form when this was Bolt's best friend. Uh, he looks at you and says, well, you can still be Bolt's best friend, even if the, his best friend is not the one that is currently in you. You're probably right. That's why I'm trying to be there for him as much as I can. Why I wanted to go back so soon. Yeah. And uh, he just continues going. Oh, uh, pretty quickly, you guys actually uh, see the, you know, the entrance to cup him. Umbrian uh, looks around and uh, then looks at you a little awkwardly and just says, You are here. Thank you. You're. I think you're. I still think you're really fantastic. Uh, he looks a little awkward about that, uh, scratches at the ground a little bit, and then looks at you and says, Thanks. Um, I will wait here. Why are you going to wait? Don't you have things to get back to at the village? Uh, he tilts his head and says, I thought you wanted to be escorted back to the village. Oh, 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 I didn't. Um, yeah, I... I I think I can go back to the village after I talk with Bolt. So hopefully he's holding up. No. He knows. And I'm going to go to the guild. <laughs> Umbrian nods again and just says, I will wait. 
Uh, he looks uh, at the town and says, "I, it wouldn't feel right to go in." Why not? He shakes his head and just says, "I'm not liking them." That's fair. I'll head to the guild then. All right. So you enter Kapim. Wow, it's a d different feeling to be in a town. Um, you you do have to go, you know, to the uh, to the town center, and you can see that there's a lot of Pokemon currently being active at the uh, you know at the center of the you know town. And uh, you're pretty sure you know why. Why? Uh, because you can actually hear music. Ah, interesting. Yeah. You can actually hear music as uh, a strange Pokemon uh, who seems to be uh, who seems to be playing on uh, some kind of instrument is currently playing well in front of the Pokemon. He has what appears to be a hat in front of him, and uh, every now and then. They are throwing some Pokesh for him. You have never seen this Pokemon in the town before. And he definitely looks like uh, a guildie, based on the equipment alone. I'm gonna uh, keep walking. <laughs> by the way, the Pokemon uh, is... You would know this Pokemon as an Obstagoon. Yeah, I'm gonna keep walking. Mm. All right. So, you return to the guild, and the first Pokemon that you see at the guild is actually Blitzel, who, as you enter, looks at you and says, "Ah, um, welcome." Hello. I'm just back for a little. I came to check on on Bolt. Oh, um, Bolt has been in his room. How are things have things been here? Oh, uh the 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 guy woke up. Oh, what what happened? He's not awake anymore. Oh. That'll be some news to tell everyone. Or maybe I shouldn't admit that because I really don't feel like talking to them right now. He tilts his head why? What happened? Because they're jerks. I didn't do anything. Uh, uh Blitzu, uh, sorry, Shocker just looks at you again and just says, why? What happened? Well, let's just say they tried to play a cruel prank on me and on a poor Umbreon. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And with that, I'm going to head to uh, Bolt's room. So, um, you make your way in front of his room, and yeah, the door is closed. You're pretty sure he has been in there for like, probably six to eight hours now. I'm going to knock. Uh, you knock, and there is no response. I'm going to open the door. You open the door, and you can see Shinx uh, uh, curled up uh, on the bed. Currently asleep. You can definitely tell that his eyes uh, are stained with tears. I'm going to gently shake him, and, uh, and I'm going to say, uh, "Are you? I'm I'm sorry for entering, but are you doing okay?" So Shing's, uh, you know, bold uh, looks at you. Uh, it gives a little bit of a soft yawn. Opens his mouth afterwards and just says, um, yeah. You don't even need to roll anything to be able to tell that he is completely lying. You can talk to me. I just really wanted to see how you were doing. Uh, 
he looks away from you and just says, it's just... It's, none of this is what I imagined, you know? I know the feeling, because I didn't really... None of this is what I imagined either. Um... He obviously seems to have trouble actually, uh, you know, talking and like spilling the beans, so to say. Um, I, I, I heard sounds of fighting outside. Is everyone okay? Well, I think one of the Pokemon from earlier woke up, but Lupus knocked them back out. She's no senses. Yeah, that seems a, that seems about right for Lupus. Um, Ember. Yes. You um. He thinks for a moment on like how to speak about this actually, and then he just takes a deep breath and says, "Are, are we bad Pokemon?" No, we are not. Oh, good. Are we the bodies? I can say a hundred percent for sure that we are not. But, but we heard Pokemon. It's unavoidable, but as long as we're doing it for reasons that are good, we are not bad. Uh, Ishings actually reaches into his bag and pulls out uh, a familiar looking book. And... Uh, he just puts one of his paws on it and just says, it's just, it's not at all like what my mommy and daddy wrote in the journal. If I could read the journal, I would... I am not entirely sure what... their adventures were like well but I'm sure I'm sure that things happened uh, that they didn't weren't didn't really agree with yeah he just shrugs and says I don't know it's just I feel like we should be like going out there and being good Pokemon and help the weak and not hurt Pokemon. We helped that Eevee, didn't we? Yeah, we did. But we also heard the other Pokemon that were holding Eevee. They weren't going to give up without a fight. And if... There was a way to have fought them without, you know, them dying. <laughs> that we probably would that probably would have been a better option. But the truth is that we can't. We couldn't. All we could try to do is do better in the future. While you were gone, Lupus came here. She did? He nods. I think she tried to say that it's just how it is. But when we go to a mystery dungeon, we have to fight. 
But it's not about whether we are good or bad, but it's about survival. And she's she's right. If sometimes if we don't act ourselves, we're not gonna meet a good fate in the mystery dungeon. Uh, he touches his chest and says, "Her hugs hurt." Oh, she's very strong. I imagine. I imagine so. I think I think she cares. It doesn't show it very much, but I think she cares. Just the way she talks, she very she very much values her pack and they're part of her pack. He nods. Ember? Yes. Uh he Extends his paw and says, can I hug you? Yes, and I will hug Hold back. Uh, so he first, at first he just gives you like a normal hug, but eventually he gives you a really tight hug and you actually can feel him shaking a little bit. I will pat him and say, it's okay. That's another traumatized kid to the group's collection. Yeah, like he, he's not crying or anything, but uh, you definitely can tell that uh, he needed that hug. And not a hug from uh, Puchena, who might accidentally break his bones. Yeah, because I'm, while I'm not weak, I'm, she is probably much stronger than me, so... She has five in strength. But yeah, after uh, a little bit of a, you know, a hugging, he lets go. He takes a deep breath and says, "I, I think, I think I can, I can, I think I can do things now." Sorry. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. I'm... If you want, you can come back with me and Umbrian to. Divi Village, or you can stay here. Uh, Shinx just uh, looks around. You definitely like, get a feeling that he has some kind of like inner struggle right now. He eventually shakes his head, looks at you, and nods. Does that mean you're coming with me, or back there, or...? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm coming. Okay, I'm gonna lead him back out. Yep. Uh, uh, as you guys uh, go to the main uh, room, you know, to, to the main hall, uh, <laughs> Shocker actually uh, waves at you. I'll wave back at Shocker. He actually smiles when, when he sees Shings. Apparently, he was worried as well. He'll be okay, Shocker. Uh, Shocker looks at you and says, Well, uh, I'm glad. Um, by the way, uh, I should probably say that there was, uh, uh, there was a Glamnyau here while you guys were gone. Yeah, she's the mayor. Um... Yeah, we'll have to, have to tell Ares that. I have a message for you from her. Mm, what is it? The, the, the new group that just arrived by a boat, that they seem very shady and you should be careful about them. Understood. And you Thanks should be... And you should be really careful about them because apparently one of them has a sword. I wonder if they recognize any of us. 
Hmm. I will... Tr transform into Chespin. Briefly, until I, at least until I get to Umbreon. I, I swear to God, I change the noise of your transformation every time you transform. I, at this point, this is just a running or joke. <laughs> Shinx is literally like not even affected by the by the fact that you change. She, for Shinx, a Pokemon changing in front of him became way too normal. But yeah, do you wanna go back to where Umbreon was? Yes. Alright. So again, you have to go through the, uh, you know, through the town's uh, center. And uh, as you are going there, you can actually see the, the, you can see the obstagon from before, right? And he seems to be no longer playing. He is now talking to... A Flygon who has very old looking uh, guild equipment. And yeah, you yeah. can definitely see that the Obstagon, not only does he have some kind of. Uh, well, it kind of looks like a very long loot, but he also has what appears to be a hilt uh, rubbed in cloth on his back. That must be one of them. <clears throat> I want to quickly make my way to Umbreon with Bolt. Yep. But yeah, you're definitely getting kind of a bad feeling about them. And as soon as I reach Umbreon, I'm going back to Zoro. Right? Zoop. Zoop. <laughs> Umbreon just looks at both of you. He looks at Shings. He looks at you and says, he's coming with us. Yes. Shinx just kind of awkwardly waves. I'm going to have to tell the rest of the group that there's trouble in town. He tilts his head and says, trouble? Yes, there's some very uh, shady looking Pokemon that seem to be snooping around. Lack of a better word, one of them has a sword. Uh, when you mention a sword, you see Umbrian touch his bandaged chest. Yo, doesn't Amber have that sword? No, the one I have is from Zangus. Yeah, wouldn't that be the one that uh, slashed into Umbrian? Uh, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's mine now. Yeah. Umbrian just nods and says, "You should probably go quickly then." Yes, I want to keep Bolt safe from that. that. Hopefully, they but... don't go to the guild house because it's Lupus and Shocker are still there. Uh, Bolt just looks at you and says, "I mean, Lupus can probably beat them up." Right? Hopefully. <laughs> uh, Umbrian looks at Bolt and says, can you keep up with us? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He can. He's very... He's, he's maybe um, young, but he's very capable. Yep. Umbrian just nods and says, alright, then uh, follow me. And I call. Yep, and he... Uh, Umbrian goes, oh boy. You can definitely tell that there is now a little bit more of a spark to his movement as uh, he's trying to go a little faster. Just a mentioning of a sword is definitely returning some bad memories to him. Just don't let him look at Ember's back. But I assume Ember doesn't actually have it out. No, I don't. It's stowed. Because, you see, uh, having that kind of weapon out is... Uh, you are literally trying to send a message in this world. 
that ain't my style, so. <laughs> Not to mention, I have no idea how you would even use that right now because you kind of don't have fingers. Uh, Sif. Oh, Sif. The Spin. Hey, hey, ra raise the Remnant. W welcome to the stream. I hope you will enjoy it. Also, Remnant. Uh, fun fact: We are getting Remnant too. I can't. I still gotta get a. Uh, I still gotta get over the fact that we are getting a sequel to that game. <laughs> like, Hello. Like I'm actually legitimately shitting myself that we are getting the se sequel to Remnant. Glad you could make it. But yeah. Umbrian takes you to the EB village. By now, it would be getting dark, by the way. Uh, Umbrian would actually be using uh, you know, the yellow shiny parts of his body to light up the way so that you guys can see properly. But yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure Bolt's helping. <laughs> yeah, Bolt's bo 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 doing the same. It's basically like having two little uh, flashlights uh, traveling with you. Actually, no, two lanterns traveling with you. But yes, you would arrive at the EV village. Now. Brak and Gruki. Yeah. So DJ, DJ Ga and Fraku. You... Uh, you you find yourselves right outside of the place uh, where you were given a room. Gurki. Yeah. Your friend doesn't fit. Hmm. Y y your friend could only enter if someone would like cut off his head and then probably cut the part in, in the middle as well. I wonder if he could turn his head sideways or put it at an angle. <laughs> Potentially. Uh, he has to pivot his way in. Oh, do I mean, we have I any guess I can teeth? try. <laughs> You're definitely getting a feeling that you could probably create some kind of mechanism here that would probably just slowly bludgeoning him to in into the building, though. <laughs> yeah. Getting him in is one thing, but getting him out is the other. Yeah, th then that would be much more complicated. Seriously, these well, EVs need to get bigger doors. Well, uh, I'm gonna go inside real quick just to see what they had in here. Well, inside, uh, it is a very simple room. Uh, it has one table. It has uh, it has four different hay beds. Okay. And it has, uh, you know, like a drinking area. You know, it's basically a guest room. Uh, okay. It, the most interesting part about this room is that there is a little uh, a wooden board hanging on the wall uh, that has parchments uh, that has drawings on it probably drawings from the kids in the village huh go look at a few of them yeah uh, so you can see um mostly just random pokemon like uh, caterpies or pgs that sort of thing yeah uh there's two drawings here that are kind of interesting so one okay. of them looks like a moon-shaped uh, Pokemon that has been drawn with uh, reddish purple and yellow. Hmm. Uh, do not know. Uh, the other one uh, uh, seems to be a, uh, some kind of bunny. Okay. And the bunny has a heart over it. Oh. Um like someone has a crush on a rabbit. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna look to see if I can find any, like, because there is, like, a little, like, eating, drinking area. Is there any, like, fruit uh, in there? Yes, there's there. actually food already set up. There's enough food for four Pokemon uh, to just have a really nice meal for a dinner. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take two of the bowls and take it outside. Frack? And had 
Yes. Grookey has delivered food. Ah, thank you. Yeah, they they left us in that in there for us. <laughs> Man. Wanna fly around the town, I guess? Uh, sure. I mean, we got nothing else to do, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you guys would, you know, just finish your meal and uh, you would just start, you know, just flying around. You would see a lot of EVs. Uh, the only other evolution that you find is a Flarian. Oh. Yeah, you, you, you will notice that there is a Flarian on uh, one of the upper areas uh, who seems to be rather old. Oh. Yeah, like, like you, Elder? Yeah, probably some kind of uh, village elder. <laughs> oh, this, this village just got attacked, and now there's a flying dragon with a monkey on his head. Oh, that's a, okay. That is like a start of some kind of weird joke. <laughs> yeah, you guys are sadly not aware of uh, the horrifying uh, social situation that Evie is going through right now. Mm. Like, oh God, Aries. Well, that's not my problem. I'll be all right. And you're also not currently aware of the things that uh, Zora, you know, Ember is going through. Hmm. All in all, we're having a pretty fun time here while everybody else is like having some serious shit happen. Yeah, you, you would see some of the younger Eevees that would just like wave at you as you kind of just float around. I and. Know it. And a lot of them would be pulled back by what you assume are their parents, you know, basically just like, don't, don't wave at them, kind of thing. <laughs> hmm. I wonder... I gotta look around and see... Is there any good spot that look like I can actually, uh... Like, play drums on? <laughs> uh... Practice. Uh, there is a big area in the middle. Okay. Cap track on his like, hey, can you take over, take me over there, to that middle area. I'm gonna start floating to the middle area. All right, you're in the middle of the village. What do? Uh, you, you 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 very visibly have many eyes on you. <laughs> I'm just gonna practice drumming here with with my stick. <laughs> okay, then roll me for performance. A contest. Yeah, it is a uh, perform contest, and uh, I. W w what kind of music are you trying to play? Something um, cool. It, really not. I guess not really any music type. You're just practicing drumming. I don't know. Okay, in that case, do me. Uh, do me smart contest and performance. It is to get better at drumming as a monkey. Two passes. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it goes pretty alright. Yep. I'll guess uh, <laughs> during his training, I'm just gonna do, uh, I don't know, cool spins in the air to get the kids more happy. Okay, <laughs> uh, Romy Dexterity Survival Athletics. Alright. Uh, oh, that's uh, six passes. Oh my god, your flips are absolutely legendary. You even get claps. <laughs> <laughs> So while you guys are doing this, you know, uh, eventually you guys see uh, a familiar side of Umbrian, Zorua, and Shinx? Huh. <laughs> while I'm just grubbing, I just kind of wait to wait for them. I will just stare. <laughs> 
Uh, Umbra is just gonna kinda like look at you guys. He's going to then look at uh, Shings and Zorua and be like, <laughs> um, have they gone crazy? <laughs> I'm just making music and that makes me crazy. You know the cute evil doers. We also work at birthday parties. Well, you you need you need some red <laughs> balloons. <laughs> Orgy. But yeah, um, uh, Umbrian looks at you, Zorro. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, back to my family. Do you have it under control over here? Yes, thank you very much, Umbrian. You just note senses anytime. Yeah, he just starts uh, walking towards uh, <laughs> uh, towards this uh, horrifying social situation here, and he's about to make it probably worse. <laughs> There's trouble back in town. <laughs> Trouble back in town. Yes, there, there appears to be a very sh um, dangerous-looking group that seems to be snooping around. Huh. Oh. Well, that one, one of them has a sword. I mean, you also have a sword. Uh, this one looks like he can use it. I mean, by all technicality, you can also use yours. I don't know if you would be good at it, but you can use it. A flygon and an obstagoon is what I saw. Hmm. Uh, Shings just looks at you guys and says, "What's a what's a flygon and obstagoon?" You were with me when. We passed them. Did you see the? Oh, you mean the weird green thing and the weird black and white thing? Yes, those. Oh. I I'm didn't like the look of them. I've never seen anything like that. Hmm. They seem to have. Like, sort of guild equipment on. Guild equipment? Huh. Do you think they're a current team or maybe one of the rogue teams? I think they're probably one of the rogue teams, and if I could wager a guess, they're related to the old team. Hmm. Huh. So if we say that uh, Zigzagoon says hello, they might have a, a quite a response. But probably not Zigzagoon since he didn't have the seal. Probably a mill tank. I don't know they if they they're related to those that group or not. Yeah. They're kind of. Cap, we should or actually like, hey, didn't you say you saw the boat going towards there anyways? Towards the town? Oh yeah, I did. So we should either be careful or dip that problem in the bud sooner rather than later. Well, um can't do much now until our uh our leader gets back. I hope you have a miserable time. Wow. <laughs> Wait, what oh. did you say, Amber? <laughs> I wasn't I, I, I that didn't... cruel to you. Jeez. Did you realize what you basically did? I didn't do anything that bad. Anyway, don't have this conversation right now. You are not dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bad hours. Oh, I'm gonna mention to these two like, hey, you know that guest house they, or the guest room they kind of set up for us. 
Um, <laughs> I we're not gonna, fit. Yeah, he's not going to be able to fit in it. Too big of a head. <laughs> so, uh, such is life. Too <laughs> <laughs> so you two might be having that entire room to yourself. I mean, you can also sleep in that room, you know. Yeah, but I don't want to leave you out there by yourself. <laughs> what kind of friend would I be? I mean, you did kind of abandon me to an awkward situation. Eh. It's just one awkward situation. We've done worse now. I mean, come on. What are friends without getting their friends into situations like that? There was a reason I wasn't trying to... Uh, draw attention to myself. You all you made came... it like 30 times worse. <laughs> you came into a village that full of Eevees as an evolution. And you I knew thought there that... would be others around. Well, I think you uh, didn't Aris uh, tell us that in that town apparently there is like only one or two evolved Eevees. <laughs> yeah, he did. So, yeah, uh, 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 Bolt's ears are going to droop and he's just gonna say, please, guys, you guys don't fight. Don't worry, we are not fighting. So, we saw, we know Umbreon, and then we saw an old, older looking Felarion here, and that's probably the only two evolutions we saw here. But yeah, um, I guess we could just go hang out by the, our, where we're going to stay tonight for now, wait till everything's like to show back up. Well, if, if he decides to show up. Yeah, that, that's true. All right. So while you guys are having this uh, strange situation over here, uh, Evie. Yes. So you're there, and you're just kind of uh, be uh, used as a storyteller. Uh, you're you, you're kind of doing my job right now. Exactly. And though I will say the stories that I'm telling about the past heroes is very doctored. Obviously the. Uh, the less positive side of things I'm going to be leaving out for reasons. Yep. And eventually, you actually see someone arrive. You I'd see. probably be mid-sentence of like, and that's how the the Magnagate thing ended. Oh, oh, uh, hey, Umbreon. Umbreon looks at you, nods, uh, says, um... We need to talk. Yes, hi. And hi. just as he says that, uh, your badge vibrates. I will look down at my badge. Uh, you feel like something just uh, appeared in your inventory. Huh? Uh, hold that thought for one second, Umryon. I'm going to look in my bag. Uh, there is a parchment. Oh, my wonder mail. I will pull the parchment out. It's written in feet. <laughs> I will pull out my reference book and slowly translate it. Alright. It is a very short message, and I will send you the message. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> of course. Um. Hmm. That's not good. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to tuck that back in my bag real quick, and or actually, you can write return messages and it just sends back, right? Yes. Okay. I will write a return message in unknown saying, be back as soon as possible, shouldn't be long, and then have it return. Yeah, when you sign it, it just disappears. <sighs> well, that just ruins the evening. Uh, uh, Umber anyway. into his head. There's an issue back at Capim. He nods. Um, but yes, we do definitely need to talk, though it seems we'll have to keep it short. Um, and you should know I already broke the news to, well, I guess your guys' parents and my inner Pokemon's parents and they're aware of the situation now and your mother's definitely gonna probably need you tonight. He nods. Um, but anyway, uh, do you want to just go into, well, I guess my bedroom and speak real quick? You guys can wait here looking at the two smaller EVs. Just for a moment, I need to talk to your Oh, our big brother. Yep, they, they both know. One of them um, with much more enthusiasm. <laughs> Alright, then I will pad off towards the bedroom and wait for him to follow. Wow, uh, already going to the bedroom together, eh? <laughs> no. There's so much wrong with what I just said. We're not going there. Okay. Anyway. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Roommate was collecting doggo. How do you collect doggo? By walking into my room and saying, Come on, fatty, apparently. Oh. Is your dog, is your dog a fat? She is kind of chunky. Oh no. We had to cut pretty much her treats out entirely and cut her food back quite a bit because we don't want her to have knee issues. Yeah. But yeah, so... Ambrun follows you into the bedroom. By the way, uh, the bedroom, you know, for the kids, it looks really nice, you know, like... Uh, y you know how the, there was the basket moved and, uh, you know, he, he was just showing you everything? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, they are literally... Draw the, the kids are literally draw on the walls here. Aww. And there's like... The, like, probably the most interesting drawing here is the drawing of, uh, basically one of the walls is like a big lake with all kinds of, like, fish Pokemon. And there is, a, like, a Magikarp jumping out of the lake. Wow, Pokemon kids can really draw. Yeah, I mean, they, that's kind of all they can do. That's fair. Yeah, they don't have internet, they don't have games, you know, they, they just live and live a life, you know. I mean, they have games, just not video games. Well, that's what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, Umbrian just kind of stops there and just looks at you. Okay, well, I'm sure you have info for me. You know, it's says the rest of your friends uh, are here. I'm just going to nod at that. There also seems to be trouble at uh, your town. Yeah, that's actually what I just got a mes message about. It seems uh, those visitors are causing trouble at Meow Meow Bar right now, and it's an emergency. He notes. Um, I suppose there isn't any way that we could convince you to come with us. Uh, he shakes his head and says, I do need to be here at night. That is fair. I do plan on... If at all possible, well, I guess, actually, no. I don't know the ways like you, so there's no way I'd be able to get back to the EV village before night, so. Uh, he looks out of the window, and you can see that it is actually slowly getting dark. Yeah. 
so I guess uh, it seems I'll probably have to spend the night some other night. He nods. I, um, I am not... I'm pretty sure I'm speaking for my parents, but you're always welcome here. Huh, sorry. <clears throat> yes, uh, your father did say the same already, so I, I do appreciate it. And uh, if anything does come up... Yes, yes they are. <laughs> If anything does come up, do not hesitate to send a message to the guild and cap him. You know, I would... I may not be your sister, but I care about you guys. I'd be happy to do anything and everything in my power to help you guys. Yep. He nods and says, I will... I will personally talk to Florian about it. I'll just nod at that and say, okay, then... As much as I would like to stay and spend more time with you all, it seems I need to go. They're the center. Last time I saw them. I'll nod at that, pat up to him, give him a hug. Ah, uh, he puts his paw on your head. He ruffles your fur there. Well, I... I hope I'll be able to be back soon. Be careful out there. I'll just give him a nod. And then with that, I'd probably open the door back up, go back outside, give each of the two little brothers a quick hug as well, and say, Hey, uh, tell mom and dad that unfortunately I needed to go, but I will be back as soon as I can. There's it, an emergency. They just look at each other, and the one closer to it says, oh, Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. Um, you guys uh, don't get into too much trouble, okay? Okay, and they just wave. <laughs> I will wave as well as I head out. Alright, and the door closes behind you, and uh, yeah. <sighs> Alright. And I probably, considering how high up I am, I'm pretty sure I can see everything in town, including all of my friends, correct? Yeah, you can see them uh, at the center of the town. Well, I'd probably just start making my way towards the center of town to meet back up with them. Alright. So, uh, while you guys are having this, uh, your conversation, mm -hmm. you eventually see Evie arrive. Glare. I'm, pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty much just gonna approach with a uh, a very concerned look on my face and say, uh, "Hold that thought, Zero. I know clearly you've got something on your mind, but uh, we've got big problems." Yeah, I know. As much as I would like to stick around and spend the night here, like I promised them, I would, and mentioned I was going to. Seems we need to head back to Capham now. There's a lot of trouble going on in the uh, village. We're in Capham Town. Specifically in Meow Meow Bar. I just got Wonder Mail letting me know that, yeah, they, they're causing trouble in the bar. Should I go ahead? Well, uh, the, the uh, mayor mentioned that, uh, they, that she will compensate us for an escape or abuse, so we're just going to go. So, everyone get together. And I will hold out my escape orb. Yep. Everyone just got us up. Oh boy. And once everyone's together, I will activate my escape orb. Alright, you lift it in the air. It shines up. And all of you are transported back to the guild. Zip. Zip. So. <laughs> so, uh, yes. so you guys teleport to the guild. I Escape get shocker. Yep, and uh, you just see, <laughs> uh, you just see shocker, uh, being 
a little bit of shock as you just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, shocker, uh, come with us. Guild is needed. Oh. Huh? <laughs> uh, go grab Lupus and meet us at Meow Meow Bar, please. Uh, uh, oh, all right. Uh, uh, he, he just goes. And have make sure Lupus locks the door before she leaves. Okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna start padding off towards the Meow Meow Bar. Slowly Meow. levitating towards the bar, I'm just gonna say, "Oh boy, that's gonna be my first bar fight." Oh boy. <laughs> monkey would stick on your head like don't make me hit you <laughs> <laughs> oh you're gonna really stick it to him are ya oh my i'm literally <laughs> the monkey on his back <laughs> <laughs> i know and in your image you have a stick yep Stick. exactly so you're monkey. really gonna stick it to him so <laughs> is is everyone following yes, yes. Yeah. all right so at this point you know it is getting kind of dark right Mm -hmm. uh, I want to see if this music that I set up, if it's uh, if it works. Ooh, so give me a music. moment. Give me a moment. I didn't test this. You know, this was kind of impromptu. Can I do a quick illusion? Yes, you can. <laughs> Oh, Mark Stomp. That'll, that'll do. Oh, wait, you can block the fly gone. <laughs> Nope. Wrong. Whoa. That was an... <laughs> that was a little intense. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was actually entirely wrong music. <laughs> ah, I was like, um, Castlevania S, like, Dracula fight, so... Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Ignore the music. I completely fucked it. Alright, instead... Insert Corona Trigger Lavos music. <laughs> oh... So I'm trying to figure out like what kind of music would be good for this moment. Hmm. That I have here already. What's the music that you played when we were talking to Giovanni? Uh, I don't have it here at this table. Ah, shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that table is like entirely its own music. You know, this brings me nightmares, so yeah, let's go. That works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zura, Zura you, you know what music this is, right? Yep. Yep, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, 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 yeah. All right, so, you guys are going to, uh, you guys are going to Meow Meows. Meow. Uh, yes. Eventually, uh, you can see, uh, in the distance, you can see Shocker. And uh, Lupe is uh, running towards you. Alright, then we go in. The whole gang's here. Yep. You go inside and uh, Meow Meow's is very visibly both very empty and also very lively at the same time. Mm -hmm. oh. So you're saying there are very specific people or Pokemon in this bar? Yes. So, give me a second, I'm gonna move you back. So, when you guys enter, uh, you hear a very non standard music. As uh, you can see, two Pokemon uh, playing music that you have never seen before. Oh. So, first things first, uh, you see uh, Meowstick just, you know, uh, do, 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 doing her job, you know. And uh, at the bar. Uh, you can see Ampharos that you have never seen before. Uh, very drunk and very obviously uh, drinking some more. 
shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Amphoros has uh, old-looking uh, guild gear, and uh, just based on the just the signs of battle, you are pretty sure that this Amphoros has seen many a battle. Uh, you also see Joltian over here. You know, similar thing, except not drinking, just in the process of eating. All right. Now, these are not the ones playing music. The ones playing music, well, there's Obstagoon, uh, who is standing on one of the tables and is playing music. Again, uh, very obvious uh, guild uh, equipment. <laughs> and when I say guild equipment, uh, I'm talking like uh, badges and all. Mm. And mm. right across from Obstagoon, uh, you can actually see Flygon uh, sitting in front of the table, uh, playing a, uh, an instrument uh, that seems to be some kind of like... Well, it seems to be two pieces of wood connected by cloth that are making music. Hmm. Opsgoon's playing glam rock. Uh, Meowstick looks a little... Uh, um awkward about this entire situation. Also, everyone but Jotian look, look very drunk. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna enter stealth for shit and giggles. Oh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, then roll me for stealth. Oh boy. <laughs> They're drunk, so if you mess this up, you're doing something wrong. Uh, five passes. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do this on my phone because there's a lot of NPCs here. We're gonna be the distraction for the dragon. And okay. All right, so what do you guys wanna do? None of them are really paying you any attention that you just uh, arrived. I'm gonna start by heading up to the bar and uh, sitting a couple of seats away, looking at Glamiao like in a come here way. Or sorry, meow stick. I know there's a lot of meows. Yes, there is a lot of meows. All right, so you sit like over here. Yes. Okay. All right. What about the rest of you guys? I'm protecting Bolt. Okay. And since uh, Drac Cloak is hiding or in stealth, I'm gonna kind of go over to where like the band is, I guess, and kind of watch them, like just being a music person. <laughs> All right. Uh. Uh, L uh, Blitzel and Lupus are just gonna go into the corner here and uh, pretend to be guests. <laughs> but you, you, are pretty, you, are, you are pretty sure that uh, Lupus looks like she's ready to throw hands. When is she ready to throw hands? That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just looking at... Uh... Meowstick. Uh, Meowstick just kind of throws you uh, an apologetic look. Guests are lively tonight, eh, Meowstick? Uh, she starts cleaning a glass and just nods and says, you could say that. Well... What's the situation? Uh, she makes her way uh, closer to you. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> and she just says, Oh, as you can see, we got some guests. Yes, some very interesting guests. Yes, um... I do not know who they are. They are dealing themselves uh, Team Iron. Hmm. Did they drive your customers out, or the customers just... Uh, uh, Meowstick says both. 
Can I roll uh, instinct on the mansion of Team Iron? Uh, what's your instinct? Uh, three. Oh yeah, definitely roll me. Alright, can I get a helping hand? I don't know if I can give helping hand to someone I don't know where it is. That's a good point, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Oof, one pass. Ooh. Oh. You know, I'm gonna use one will. You sure? No. Yeah. Nope. Alright, so. Uh. Frag? Yeah. Y y your inner Pokemon doesn't tell you anything. Oh, that's interesting. Oh and Ferros, Jolteon, taking notes, sorry, and Obstacoon. Oh yeah, by the way, they all look, so just looking at the equipment, you can see that uh, they look like they just went, they just uh, went through desert, even though they obviously just went by sea. Uh, so, now that uh, Meowstic has pretty much just said very little, I suppose I just give her a nod and say, Well, uh, we'll do what we can. She just nods. Uh, suppose, uh, by the way, she will point her head uh, towards uh, Obstagoon and she mouths with her mouth, uh, dangerous. <laughs> oh boy. I will nod at that. Alrighty. <clears throat> I would kind of just uh, first start by looking around at each one of them, and does any of them look specifically like a leader type? Can um, My guess is the Jolteon, because he's not drinking, but that's an assumption. Oh, uh, Jolteon is female, by the way. Oh. Yeah, Jotun is very visibly female. Uh, the rest of them are male. Hmm. And yeah, she is the only one who is not actually drinking. The, everyone, uh, everyone else is in different stages of getting fucking shit canned. <laughs> and uh, I'm guessing none of the guys look particularly like a leader. Oh. Do any of the guys look like a leader? Well, Obstagon looks like the scariest of the bunch. That's all you can really discern. Hmm. Well, I suppose it might be wise to start with the most coherent of them, either way. And since I'm sitting right across from her anyway, I suppose I just, uh, just kind of just wave to get her attention. Okay, so how are you trying to get uh, the Pokémon's uh, attention? Uh, first by waving. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Been already noting shit points. No, no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> don't call me out like this, man. Don't do this to me. Alright, so she's gonna bolt you first in the face. Alright, so you're waving at Jotian, right? Yes. She turns towards you. She looks you over. Uh, are you wearing your badge? Uh, probably not right now, considering I was just settling down for the night, so it's probably in my bag at the moment. Uh, she looks up and down. Uh, she puts, uh, uh, she puts her food in her mouth, she eats the food, and then, while eating, she says, Ah, so when are you gonna be evolving? Just gonna kind of shrug at that and say, oh, whenever it feels right. Huh? There was no, there was no more, there was no more important thing than for you to evolve. You don't want to stay weak. Yeah, I mean... 
I know a particular Eevee who never evolved who's probably stronger than anyone I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, I never heard... met her myself, but... Yeah, I heard that story as well. Oh, it's more than just a story. I mean, we actually don't live that terribly far from her. Uh-huh. Whatever you say there, Eevee. Actually, uh, uh actually, uh, here we go. Uh, she just reaches into her bag. By the way, very pristine looking bag. And she just throws you, uh, uh, an evolutionary stone. I, w I would catch it very confusedly and look at it. Uh, it's giving you a very strange t tingling feeling. Is it a, uh, electrical yes. evolution yeah. stone? Yes. A thunderstone, yes. It is thunderstone. I'll give her a small smile at that and say, uh, thanks. You gonna use it? What, now? She toots her head. Why not? Well, uh, from what I was told, we have to go to Luminous, uh, Lake. Uh, she actually hits her forehead and says, Oh, you guys have it complicated here. Here? Ah, oh, uh, don't worry. Anyway, uh, toss it back. Never mind. Uh, alright. I'll toss it back to her. Yep, she's just gonna take it and put it in her bag. <coughs> <clears throat> Uh, she just casually, by the way, was just completely okay with just, like, evolving you, by the way. She knew that <laughs> if, if you were in, where she comes from, that would have evolved you against your will. Oh. So she tried to force me to become a Jolteon. Yep. <laughs> well, my character doesn't know that. But, um... That would kind of just get a little bit of a confused look, but uh, I just kind of shake my head and say, uh, "So, uh, you guys are enjoying yourself?" Yeah, we just we, we just arrived today. Nice establishment, not the uh, not the best one that we've uh, ever been to. Yeah, I mean that's fair enough. It is a pretty small town, so there's not too much going on here. It uh. looks like you guys are from a pretty big guild. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm, uh, I'm also talking to uh, Raised uh, about joining the Discord server. You know, juggling two nice. things. It's all anyway, good. anyway uh, so what were you saying, Maurice? Uh, so he just looks at her after looking a little confused, or she looks at her after a little bit of confusion and says, hmm, uh, well, it looks like you guys are from a pretty big guild. If I yeah. were to hazard a wild guess, Continent of Air? Uh, she looks at you and just starts laughing. Uh, she turns towards her companions and just says, hey, this Eevee thinks that we are from, we are from that uh, horrible, horrible land of weak Pokemon. Like I said, it was a pretty wild guess. Nah, see, see. I'm Eevee. just trying to think of places I don't know of that have evolution uh, challenges, I should say. Uh, she toots her head and just says, nah, it's alright. You see, Giratina is absolutely okay with just evolving randomly these days. Ah, continent of sand it is, okay. Yeah, we are from Sandstone. Okay. Well, I do know that uh, that there is the challenge there as well, but I didn't know he just also let you evolve on your own too. Ah, it's uh, it's uh, it's really okay. You know, these days he's very open about it. From what you I hear, he's actually <laughs> from what I hear these days he's actually pretty calm, pretty chill. Well, he's anything but, but chill, considering the place that we are from is warmer than probably a warmest day. <laughs> well, I suppose I meant more relaxed. He's not... Well, I've heard stories of Giratina and 
certain places where he's very much a evil, cruel monster, but from what I hear around here, not so much. Oh, anyway, so, um, you're from a guild, I see. Uh, what guild are you from? Oh, my own. Uh, she starts laughing again. Yeah. I, I can totally. That, that's that. Uh, that absolutely makes sense. There's no way an Eevee would become a guild master. I'm sorry. There's no way. I mean, if you say so. Um, but what about you guys? You look like I'm considering your obvious power. I would. I would assume diamond. Um, uh, she uh, touches her diamond-colored uh, uh, badge. Ah, yes. There it is. Just like I thought. And uh, she just looks at you and says, Well, actually, we are not part of the guild anymore. Oh? Yep. You just uh, done, or...? We quit. Spending the rest of your days just relaxing in the fruits of your labors? It's more like we we quit over a difference in um well just about everything actually <laughs> because you see there, yeah. there there ain't no guild in sandstone no more oh yep sounds like you've got some pretty interesting stories to tell oh oh kid i have so many stories well i'd love to hear about what happened to the sandstone guild Ah, uh, simple. They, uh... Oh, so the officer there, uh, had a talk with this, uh, human, uh, turned Pokemon, uh, like, I don't know, like, ten, was it, ten or five years ago? Right? Mm hmm And, um, this human mentioned, uh, something from the human world. You know, a thing called uh, kings and queens. I'm just gonna pretend to be confused by that. And that kind of gave them an idea. See, the guild there, right? It's really big and really powerful. So why not take over? And why not uh, establish this kings and queens wing? Oh boy. And our team, we were not exactly okay with that. Especially when they wanted to take uh, my friend's uh, sword that he made himself. I'm gonna just kind of peer over at the flag on. Obstagoon. Obstagoon. Oh, the Obstagoon is the one that had it. Okay, I th thought I heard earlier that the flag on had it. Then I will look at his sword. Yeah, it is a very long blade. Very does thin. It look, does it look like it's made of iron? Yes. Like it, everything else around here? Well, it's kind of difficult to say because it is actually roughed in cloth. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. I mean, I completely understand. I, I wouldn't want anything to just be up and taken away from me either just because someone said that they're in control now. Yeah, so, um, we stole one of the boats, and we just let the wind take us. I'm guessing this was sometime recently. Yep, about a week ago, actually. Well, I'm glad you guys are okay. Yep, uh, got into a fight with the Gyarados, but thankfully, uh, she looks, uh, you know, at her companions. <laughs> we, uh, we saw that pretty quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I would imagine, considering that uh, two of you are literally anathema to water types like him. A little bit. Oh, it also helps that we are incredibly strong. Well, yeah, you don't reach diamond rank for nothing. Oh, not like that rank means anything anymore. I'm sure it could, but... Um... Uh, she just takes her badge and just kind of to tosses it behind her. Uh, yeah. I am really sorry to hear about your guild, though. Huh? No, Nobody else tried to stop this human from taking over? 
No, he didn't take over. He just gave an idea to the officer who then gave an idea to the guildmaster and then a lot of teams just kind of were like, yeah, why not be better than others? Mm. Some teams so left, word. some teams left, some teams stayed and... Well, and now the, the entire situation there is really bad. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, the, the entire continent? Pretty bad on the best day. But now it's even worse. So your old guildmaster is now parading around as the king of your... Uh, well, of, I suppose of his new country. Yep. He's calling it a federation. Oh, I've actually heard of this federation. Yeah. It's uh, some kind of uh, joke on uh, the first uh, original exploration team. See, that's actually where they come from. Yeah, I heard that's where the survey teams originally came from. Uh, Jodun just shrugs and says, ah, that's history. Who, who, who cares about history anyway? So that's for boring people. I don't mean... That's the mindset of someone who never wants to make history. Kid, in all due respect, I I've spent almost two decades working my ass off in that guild, only for all of it to be just taken away from me. I don't think you know. I don't think you know anything about history. I think I know all about history. I mean, I do know a lot about history, but um, all I'm getting at there is that it just seems like he gave up a little too easy. You want the fight? Yeah, like, uh, she's definitely giving you kind of that look like, uh, you know, you want to throw hands? What hands? I, I just hands. look very relaxed and unconflicting. I'm just going to pretty much look at her and say, it's not, you know, that I'm saying that uh, you're weak. Don't get me wrong. I can clearly see you're powerful. I have no beef with you. What I'm saying uh, is, with all of your power, you could have done a lot more. <sighs> Alright, Eevee, you obviously don't understand how this works. We look, we, we, we look powerful, and we are powerful. We could probably beat you up so much that you would not even understand. We could probably beat you up in, 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 into the past decade or something. I don't even know how that works. I don't know. Anyway, but the good masters that to be, like, really powerful... Like, stupidly powerful? We, can, mm -hmm. we couldn't face him. Just, that, that, would, that would absolutely... The only thing we could do is just... <sighs> so, apparently... The teams that were against the idea started vanishing. Alright? Diamond teams amongst them? No, usually not. Usually the, it was the lower teams. So when we heard that the second team vanished, we decided that it's time for us to go, before we vanish. Oh come on. Clearly you guys are strong enough that you could have easily survived. Uh-huh, whatever you say, kid. Sounds like somebody doesn't believe in themselves. I mean, heck, I already, I just only met you and I believe in you. She actually looks at you, and you can see that her spikes on her body just uh, start charging up. Yeah, uh, you know, after that I'm just gonna uh, slowly float, sit down on the chair and rub the stealth as I sit. Oh, a dry cloak. Uh, her, her charging just stops. Finally, finally a sight for the sore eyes. Uh, rough day, eh? <laughs> you can say that again. So, so, look at it. If a freaking kid is trying to tell me things that, you know, doesn't know anything. <laughs> uh. You have no idea what we went through. You have no idea about anything. No, but all I'm saying is I like you guys. You don't I even can... know us, kid. So shut up. 
I'm not talking to you anymore. I have a much more interesting person here. That just gets a small chuckle. Uh. <laughs> um, it's, yeah. it, it's you talking to him that I'm more worried about. Anyway, Dracloak, what are you doing here? Aren't you guys from our place? How did you even get here? Uh, well, you see, one day I... Oh my fucking god, what was the name of that Pokemon? Give me a moment. Samurott? Uh, yeah, Samurott. Yeah, you see, one day I woke up on a ship with absolutely no previous memory of anything. And then next thing I know is a Samurott telling me that I have a job to do and that my team member got uh, beaten up really badly and thrown outside of the ship. Samurott? Yeah. You mean Slash? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Oh, that makes sense. You, you, you got Slash to take you over. That makes sense, yeah. <sighs> what did you pay? Well, he's not, your he's, guess... he's, he's not exactly the cheapest. Well, your guess is as good as mine, because uh, as I said, I don't remember shit before waking up that day. Oh, heck. I just know that he's apparently really pissed off about me now. Oh, you piss of slash! Oh, oh, you are dead. You are, you are, you are extra dead. <laughs> but yeah, I got uh, with this uh, uh, little band here, and we kind of started a guild here because apparently there's absolutely fucking nothing here except for the treasure city, and they are too busy dealing with the big stuff. Ah, Treasure City. That's I actually, honestly that... forgot that it's a city now. What do you mean? Wasn't it a city for a pretty long time now? Yeah. Anyway, that's exactly where we don't want to go. Yeah, Treasure City doesn't seem right and their tax is too high. No, that's not actually what I'm talking about. I, we just cannot go there because we will probably get jailed. No. Well, we are technical renegades. Eh. Uh, I mean, you didn't do anything bad, did you? Well, we stole a boat. <laughs> I mean, what's a little boat between friends? I know, right? You know what, Dracloak? You, 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 you're okay. That Evie over there? Yeah, she, she needs to grow up a little bit. <laughs> But you, That's just but you, that, get that, another smirk. but you, yeah. you and me, we, we can work together. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> it reminds me of the of the days when I used to be an Eevee. I'm so glad that the guard chomp forced forced me to evolve. Hmm. And just forcing someone to evolve seems kind of weird, though. Well, I mean, it was weird at the time, and I was barely alive. But now, I, that was like the best thing to ever happen to me. Yeah, from that perspective, I can agree. Yeah, because you know what usually happens to Eevees o o over at Sandstone? It's life. Nah. She just runs her paw across her neck. Ah, food. Yep. There's like mm. there's like none of our kind over there. It's a it's a it's a tough place. Mm. You know that 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 girl over there, she would not survive a day. <laughs> well, probably, but uh, thankfully for her, we ain't going there in probably quite some time. Yeah, there's nothing to see there. 
Just bad stories and even and even worse nightmares. Mm. But yeah, what are your plans for here? Uh we're gonna we're gonna I don't know, bro. We're gonna hold up here for a week or two or three, and once we run out of pokesh, we are just gonna go and uh, find some place. Probably some mystery dungeon or something. I heard this place is some really old mystery dungeons. We could just hold up in one, just turn it into a base or something. Well, if you like, and there's a dungeon full of unknowns. Not too far away from here. Yeah, I am not dealing with unknowns after what <laughs> happened. Uh, after what happened when I was an Eevee. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I mean, if you are worried about Poké Cash, you could just join up in here. She tools her head. You know, go back to the good old guildy work. Yeah, no. After what happened last time? Uh, I, I mean, I can tell you uh, one thing. Something like... Uh, thing with that shitter is not gonna happen here. Uh-huh. Yeah, I heard that one before. Anyway. It was nice talking to you, but my friends are getting very drunk, and uh, honestly, I'm pro I should probably follow them. How about we offer you a room for the night? Well, we already paid for a room. Here? Yeah. Fair enough. But uh, paying for a room every night is probably not the most sustainable. Huh? If you ever need a room, let us huh? know. Uh, probably not. I assume there's work here. We can, we, 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 we can do for some things. I mean, we are pretty badass. Yeah. And if you don't want to work officially, you can always work as freelancers. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So that's kind of frowned upon from where we come from. You do freelance uh, work. You, 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 you get freelance work and you lose an ear. Uh, it's not that much frowned upon over here. <laughs> wow, this place is really weird. Well, this place didn't have a guild for... What, uh, you got? How long was that, uh, Meowstic? Three years? No. Like half of a decade. Oh, yeah, even that, even better then. Hmm. Well, I suppose now that I know you're not here to trouble, I can drop the childish facade. She toots her head. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit more comfortably now and say, I'm not your everyday Eevee. I know I may look like a literal child, but, um, well, you guys are very, very experienced, so there's no way you haven't heard of humans who inhabit Pokemon bodies. Ah, oh, oh no, not again. <laughs> I'm just gonna nod and say yes. I Why is it very much always an Eevee? Not always. Uh. You know, I mean, from what I hear, Eevees are known for destiny. All right, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Destiny. Kid, 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 please listen to me for a moment. All right, take it from an actual adult. Just get that stuff out of your head right now. You will get oh, yourself very, killed. Oh, I'm very much not a kid. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can totally see that. Uh, you, your floof is not even properly grown yet. Yeah, see, the stuff with, the, with that shit is... Uh, the humans usually get thrown into bodies of kids for some reason. I'm just gonna nod and say... Yes, whereas my body may be that of a child, that's just where I was stuck into. In my world, I was a full-grown adult. Yeah, it's strange. It is strange. Uh, Jordan just looks towards uh, the group uh, assembling be behind her. 
except for Grookey, he doesn't know that still listening to music. <laughs> yeah, uh... She just looks at you. She looks at Eevee and says, Um, I have a one question, Eevee. You're just gonna nod? Is that a bouncing squad? Right there? Eh, more so just a oh shit squad as of right now. Ah, <laughs> Uh, you know, I can take them all, all on uh, by myself, right? I mean, we're stronger than we look, but that's not what we're here for. You have we a you know. have a Puchin over there. Yes. She's very nice. She's actually my friend. And yeah, I wasn't joking when I said we started a guild here. You are in way over your head, Eevee. I mean, Tell me about it. Yeah, I kind of figured that. <laughs> I mean, what guild master of a starting up guild wasn't? I mean, I don't know. I'm not a guild master. Kosh, I, exactly. I would not be able to be. Horrible. I'm not. I'm not so conceited as to think that this is all going to be sunshine and rainbows. I know it's going to be very difficult. There's going to be a lot of pain. I'm fully aware. But well, I'm willing to put forth the effort to try to make this a better place. Alright, so uh, that's nice and all. Uh, how does this concern us? Well, we just needed to come in pretty much to make sure that you didn't plan on, well, doing what a certain ex-survey team was planning on doing. Yeah, we got one ex-survey team who was running around enslaving people. Enslaving, beating them up, cutting them up. Taking Pokemon from where they didn't belong, terrorizing Pokemon. Uh, she's just gonna shrug to them and be like, huh? I mean, is that kind of normal? Uh, well, but kind of frowned upon. We, uh, and we kind of expected them to be tougher. Yeah, and that might be a lot more normal where you come from, but we're trying to make sure it becomes less normal around here. Uh, she sh visibly shrugs and just says, I mean, we are stronger than them. Yeah. So, uh, so, why so why not take what we, what we need? They make it, we take it, we protect them. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot there's, of easy ways. Yeah, there's you could. not much to protect from them. Of them, sorry. Wait, so, wait, 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 you are saying that this continent is, like, really safe? I mean, as safe as it can be with the biggest guild around. Oh, I, uh, by uh, that I mean, I meant we accidentally killed uh, most of them. Thank God. We tried to knock them down, but uh, we kind of overdid it. So, you are saying that this place is really used to being safe? For the most part. Though well, I will I say, think this as, place... of right, as of right now, the majority of the safety is on the northern end of the continent. We're working on trying to help secure the southern end of the continent. But we've only literally just started, so it's going to be a long road. Uh, she turns over, over to Amphi and says, Hey, Amphi. Amphi. Amphi! Huh? Uh, hey, Amphi. We have a situation. We cannot get jobs here. This place is too safe. Uh, it's alright. We can move to another one eventually. Yeah. Oh, quite, uh, quite the contrary. Like I just mentioned, it's the northern half of the continent that's actually perfectly safe. Anyway, so... Down here. So, Amphi, we are going to be here for like a week, and then we are going to dip somewhere else. We still have a boat, we can go anywhere. Yeah, whatever. Uh, like... And Amphi just kind of falls uh, on, 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 the, on the counter. Why the charmer? <laughs> hey, um, choose for the information. Many, uh, how many did I, I first think? have? Wow. Uh, uh, Meowstick, when you asked it, uh, Meowstick just... Uh, starts counting, and you're pretty sure Mjolstik counted to nine. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at Jolteon and say, I think you misunderstood. So, 
The northern half of the continent is perfectly safe, yes. But as of right now, I'm going to just motion to my group. We are all that stands between terror from the southern half of the continent because Treasure City doesn't give any shits about the southern half of the continent right now. Gosh, you, Heck. You, you, you curse even more than, uh, than Obstagoon. Ah, uh, sorry about that. It's an old human habit. Heck. Uh, anyway, uh, so the only real place I'd say that is genuinely safe here is, is Luminous Lake. Thing? Well, I mean in the southern half. On ah. the southern half, the only place that is truly safe is the uh, Luminous Lake Forest, and that's about it. As long There's... as you're being nice to the forest. Yes. Uh, she just shrugs and says, well, we are going to have to figure it out for ourselves. But I can uh, definitely tell you there will be a lot of work for you here, if you're willing to put forth the effort. Well, the work is going to be good enough. Oh, more than good enough. Like I said, there's pretty much nothing going on. In By the way, I know what you are doing, just... Evie. I'm not asking you to do anything, except just be exactly what you were planning on being, a mercenary around here to help out. Yeah, like, Especially we, we, considering... we, are, we are not going to be joining you. It's not I'm happening. I'm going to shake my head and say, no, no, that's not what I was getting at. What I'm getting at is it's nice to have a mercenary guild around that, or mercenary team around that. You don't have to join the guild, but we will happily pay you for taking care of things that we can't handle. I bet that's a lot, considering... Well, you. And considering the guys behind me. Well, I mean, not necessarily. We are strong in our own right, but there are obviously stronger out there. We can handle most riffraff. But it would be nice to have someone particularly strong around but to yeah. take care of things that we can't handle. By the way, Ember? Yeah? Uh, Lupus looks at you and says, What does she mean? <laughs> who, 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 what does who mean? She, she points at Jotian. Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh, Lupis, no I'm understand. Not, I'm not <laughs> entirely sure myself. Lupis nods and just uh, says, "Then maybe she make she make no sense." <laughs> Yeah, Jodo is just gonna look at you, look at the drug cloak, and shrugs and oh, says, so. Hey, I, w I, w I want some of the stuff that I'm figured. Huh. Alright, on it. Huh. Last thing I want to want to say before you get too plastered is just think about hanging around a little while longer. I'm not asking you to join our guild. Just be here is all I'm asking. We paid for we paid for the rooms for one week. Well, hopefully we can have some good work for you by then. She shrugs. If the pay is good, we will stay. <laughs> oh, that depends on what you mean by good pay. Um, I mean, I don't know. Good. The I bigger the, the the bigger the number, the better. <laughs> oh, so he is out of character. Oh, I was gonna say out of character. I know of a certain godbite who got paid very well for a simple mission. Alright, well, I suppose now that we know that they're not here to specifically cause trouble, I'm gonna look at Drucloak and say, Hey, um, I'm gonna be right back. I should probably go let the mayor know that they're not here to, well, do what the ex-survey team did. Mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna talk to you in just a bit. I'm gonna hop off the stool and start padding off towards uh, Guamiao's place. All right. So, uh, Grookey. Oh. Yeah? 
So, what is it that you want to do? Because <laughs> you 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 have a flygon and you have a very drunk flygon and obstagoon uh, currently uh, playing music, weirdly uh, symphonic with each other, considering how drunk they are. Huh. Well, I kind of just been like standing there like this entire time watching them like play the music, listening to them, wondering if they would even notice. That they have not noticed you whatsoever. They're too, yeah, they're, they're, they're too stuck in their own world right now. Hmm. Okay, uh, well. Would I be able to roll like a performance, like try to make a beat to go with that music that they're playing? Yeah. So, I'm <laughs> gonna. I'm just doing very poorly, it's one. Uh, you are trying, but you do not know what they are playing, so it's kind of like, difficult. Like, huh, that is some weird rhythm. It's, a, it's like you're trying to play Taiko without knowing the music. Oh, shit. <laughs> they just see, a, like, a child monkey just trying to play... That looks like they're trying to play along, but they're just doing something completely different. So this definitely does actually get attention of Flygod, who stops playing after a while and looks at you. I'm like, uh... Hi. <laughs> uh, he puts the strange musical instrument on his back. He just kind of like gets up and walks up to you. Okay. He, lo he looks down at you. He's big, by the way. Yeah, I mean, look at the models. Like, yeah, Obstacle, uh, uh, this gets Obstagoon's attention. He stops playing and looks at you as well. <laughs> Sorry, it was... Trying to, I was trying to go along with the music, but like, very bad at it still. Yeah, Vlago lo still looking at you, just uh, opens his mouth. He burps a little bit because he's very drunk. Okay. And uh, just like looks at you and just says, Hey. Yeah? You play music. I'm trying to, trying to learn. That's good. Music is good. It works miracles. What were you guys playing? Uh, Obstacle just says, I don't know, what we'll baby playing? <laughs> uh, Flygo just shakes his head and just says, eh, Don't worry about him, he's always like this. We were, play, we were playing music from our place. Uh, oh, well. It was, it I really had a hard time trying to keep up with the rhythm, but it sounded like you're good. Nah, don't worry. You, you, you would get used to it if you heard it a couple times. Yeah. Anyway, what's your name? Uh, Grookey. Well, hey there, Grookey. Hi. Little <laughs> monkey <laughs> <laughs> just looking up at this big ass, like, dragonfly drag. So, you from a guild? Uh, yeah, but right now we're not, we're just resting right now, so. Uh, he points at himself, says, um, uh, I'm Igon. Igon? Like, <laughs> he kind of look at, uh, Ops King's, like, how about you? Uh, Obstacle looks at you and says, I bet you would want to know that. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I would tell you, but only if you'd give me. Uh, he, he thinks and then says, like, 100 pokesh. 100 pokesh. Uh, I, I, I go and just face, face palms a little bit. <laughs> Like I said, he's always like that. Okay. Ah. Uh, well. That way, even if I could pay him, I, I couldn't just because we got a double the mission, but we haven't gotten our money for it yet, so. Well, yeah, yeah, you, you'll figure out how to get money and such. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm sure I will. Maybe I can make money uh, making music. 
You can do that. I remember doing that way back. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. Was it fun? It was alright. That was that was before um, I was uh, I was a guildie. Oh. Yeah, I used to live in a mystery dungeon. Huh. Well. That was before I... Jolly. That was before Jolly was Jolly. Before Jolty was Jolty. Kind of. Oh, the Jolty on over here. Yeah, it's a long story. Also, I think your Ampharos friend over there is kind of passed out. <laughs> That's alright. Um, Ampharos always just gets drunk and then we we need to care, carry her out. No oh boy. <laughs> so, yeah, carry him. Carry him out. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm sorry, you look at uh, Ampharos and it looks very feminine. Look, huh. the, the design looks feminine. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, All right. you should probably like go like get some rest. I mean, it's kind of late for a kid. Yeah, especially after being stabbed, I kind of need a lot of rest. You got stabbed? Yeah, this samurai thing guy kind of stabbed me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, Obsako just looks at says, "How did it feel?" Uh, it hurt a lot. I kind of blacked out a couple times, but I managed to come through, so. Yeah, I bet it hurt. Yeah, it's like, I mean, something sharp and metal just going right into your stomach is not very pleasant. Yeah, it's weird I just survived. I'm lucky, I'm sorry, I don't know how, really. Yeah, maybe I should fix that. I can kind of look at him like, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> don't worry, I don't kill kids. Anymore. He's kind of looking like, oh thank God. <laughs> uh, I Igon just shakes his head and says again, he's he's he's, just, he's, he's not actually like that. Don't worry. <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah, I guess I better start heading back to my guild to like rest now. Yeah, go go get some rest. I kind of I don't know, looking over to my group, like seeing them all kind of congregate over there. Yeah, like, but EB is like, just, like outside. I just look at Shocker and I was like, why is everybody crazy? Uh, Shocker looks at you and says, I don't know. I mean, I was I was stuck in one room for over a year. <laughs> okay, so why is everyone crazy? I don't know. Ask the fucking crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> right now? Right now, he seems lucid enough. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's not high. He's, he's, he's detoxing. Uh... I just kind of look at him like... I really have a weird group of friends. I just look at him realizing. I mean, you, you don't know anything. I'm for us over there. Well... He's much, he's much scarier than he looks. And Jolie... She's like the sweetest little thing, but I didn't tell you about it. All and, right. And Obstacle over here, he has a he has a he has a heart of gold. Hmm. <laughs> uh, he just looks at the you know <laughs> Igon and just says, "Yeah, yeah, you, you gonna say that to my face?" <laughs> Igon just looks at him and just says, "Like I said, pay pay him no attention right now, right?" <laughs> Anyway, like I said, you, you should you should go. Be safe out All right. there. Fly. Yep. Like a like, like like a bird. I'll try to. Just kind of swinging like I kind of jump up to it like whatever happens. Swing out. <laughs> uh, as you are walking away from them, by the way, Igon just looks at up something and says, "It would be real sad if I had to eat him." <laughs> just like eh, out of there. <laughs> I'm going to ask Meowstick if she needs any help. Uh, Meowstick uh, looks at you, looks at the, gr the group that, that, that is here, and 
With the fakest ex expression ever conceived on, on a Pokemon's face, she says no, don't worry. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Thank you. Next, Eevee. So, uh, <coughs> Eevee. <coughs> Also, I realize this is kind of yes. a weird form for me to take when, when sitting next to Dracloak. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Also, uh, Eevee. Yes. Uh, this was actually before Grookey followed you. Uh, as you as you are leaving Meow Meows, you can actually see that Glam Meow is right outside of the door, waiting, leaning against the wall. Uh, oh, uh, I was just coming to see you. She sighs and looks at you. Um, uh, so... Things, uh, it turns out things are alright. They're pretty big and scary and strong, but... They're not bad Pokemon. You sure? I, oh, yes, I was just coming to let you know it was a false alarm. They're just here to stay for a week and maybe make some money. Just, uh, treat them like you would treat, uh, your mercenaries. They... That, that's pretty much what they are at this point, is mercenaries. They're the guild over in the sand, the continent of sand. That's where they come from. It's no longer a guild. They left it for political reasons, for lack of a better word. Um, but I can definitely tell their heart's in the right place, so I don't think they're going to cause any major trouble. I would say so. You can always put up a bounty on them and throw it at Treasure City. I um, I genuinely don't think that's necessary. Honestly, I think they're actually going to be a really big asset to this town. Now, obviously, we don't have the funds to pay them, but the Guild Association does, and I believe the Guild Association does cover mercenaries, right? Yeah, but is Guild Association going to want to deal with them considering they, they, went, they went rogue? Well, considering their entire guild went rogue, I don't think they'll have that big of an issue. Um, so their guild used to be the Federation. So I guess what, I, what I've what i been hearing about actually happened. Yeah, I seem so. Oh, we'll keep an eye on them. If they cause any trouble, I'm gonna be putting up a bounty on them immediately. I'll just nod at that and say, that is fair. But um, I would also, you know, while you're taking time to prepare that, I would also take some time to prepare if there's any major things that have been meeting down around here. Like, for instance, if you've ever had any stronger-than-us Pokemon causing a lot of trouble regularly, they might be just the group you need to get rid of them. I know there's a couple teams uh, that went rogue a while ago and... She thinks, she, she thinks for a moment and just, yeah, I think I can find them some work. Well, uh, if it puts your mind at ease, they're diamond ranked too, so they could probably handle whatever you throw at them. You just, they look very shifty. Yeah, Espe I can es especially, that. especially that weird one. I've never seen that before. On um, with the sword? Yep, never seen that species before. Yeah, I, I don't actually recall them myself, but um, it seems like as scary as they are, they seem to be okay. Yeah, I've been to three different continents, CB. I mean, let's just put it this way. You could pretty much see him the same as you saw Gobite. Gobite was big and scary, but he turned out to be okay. Yeah, I guess. Hmm, I just hope I'm not uh, making a mistake here by trusting them. Well, if it comes to that, I will take full responsibility, but I I don't think they're going to. And responsibility is pointless when the deed is done. Anyway. I suppose that is fair enough. Anyway, I'm gonna be going now. And yes, I, I, was, I was waiting here in case you guys turn this uh, into a fight. <laughs> Well, I would have appreciated the backup. 
Yeah, I'm not very good at fighting anymore, but you know, I could help. Yeah, yeah. you used to be a guild member yourself, so. Yep. Alright, well, you go get some rest. <laughs> she gives you a grin and says, Rest? What's that? <laughs> That's a fair point. Uh, you go get what constitutes rest for an air. Yep, she just nods, turns around, waves at you, and starts walking away. I'll give her a fight. I'm always just well. forgot your alcohol. <laughs> I think she's a little too stressed for that right now. And it would be around this time when Grookey shows up. Grookey. Okay. Oh. Hey, Grookey. Hi. Um, don't worry. Uh, I guess she was here all along, so... Um, I let the mayor know everything is cool, so... Uh, I guess we can head back to um, the guild and rest for the night, because there's no way we're going to make it back to the EV village before nightfall. Well, it's already nightfall. Before... Everyone's going to be already dead asleep, I should say. Yeah. Uh. Well, Flygon seemed, uh, well, Igon kind of, he seemed nicer, though. Yeah. And, uh, he said that, uh, well, he told me some things about the, the group that I did not expect. <laughs> oh. He said, he said that the Jolteon's a big softy, apparently. And the the, the Obstagoon guy, who I guess what it's called. He has a hard gold, apparently. But, apparently the person you have to watch out for is the, uh, Ampharos. <laughs> oh. That's what he told me. He said, Ampharos may look nice, but he's kind of the more scary one. Uh, I suppose I could believe that. Uh, from what it sounds like, it sounds like um, they should be able to keep them under control, so I'm hoping yeah. that is the case, because as of right now, there's literally, I'm pretty sure there's nothing our entire town could do if they did want to cause trouble, so best we try to stay on their good side. Yeah, I mean, I think I got on their, the other two's good side from the music, I, hmm. mm -hmm. playing music. Oh, that's good. Yeah. But um, we definitely, especially for situations like this, we definitely need to start working on getting stronger ourselves. Oh, yeah. Soon. <laughs> yeah, imagine if they would actually be here to cause trouble. I mean, yes. Yeah. We'd pretty much just be... Like, our only chance at stopping them would be to try to, you know, trick them to get rid of them rather than actually fighting them. We have <laughs> no chance in combat. And give them a fake bounty on the other side of the world? <laughs> yes. But yeah, I guess we gotta go... go rest. Alright. You guys are gonna be going back to the guild? Yep. Though I would poke my head in to let everyone it know that that's what we're doing. Though I'm sure Puchiana probably was already on her way out. Yeah, Puchiana is actually kind of following you. <laughs> okay. I would poke my head in to let uh, Shocker and Bolt and her cloak know that, uh, and Zerua know that uh, we're going to head back to the guild since everything's calmed down. And they can head back whenever they like. I, I... Just... Uh, looking at your cloak, just don't cause trouble. <laughs> Why would I be causing any trouble? You almost caused trouble. I'm gonna offer Meowstic to help clean up. Uh, Meowstic will gladly take it. Yeah, I'll see uh, Bo Bo is gonna rush in and be like, oh, me too. Uh, Bolt, the goodest of boys. Uh, Bl Blitzer just looks at this, and then he's just like, yeah, not it. <laughs> Alright, it's about you. You, you. you guys will help out. By the way, you're pretty sure that there is a broken chair. Mm. Well, now that's uh, 100 coins. 
100 Pokesh. Yeah, Pokesh. Um, <laughs> can I use logic and attempt to fix it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could you could roll me logic to see if it, uh, if you could like fix it in some way. She passes. No, it would not take too much. Honestly, honestly, if you had duct tape, you could put it very pretty easily. But that certainly doesn't exist in this world. So uh, you would need a couple of nails, and you would need like a hammer, which Miausik would easily provide. Um, Miausik, if you give me a hammer and some nails, I can fix this chair looks at you, she nods, she vanishes in the back for a moment, and eventually comes back with, uh, you know, a basket uh, full of what you would need. And I'll set the work doing that. Alright. <laughs> You're gonna be working on that. Truck Yes. You feel, you feel an electrical presence behind you. Uh, isn't the pole right behind me? Um, yeah, it's me. I think I said no. Well, it sits, it sits down. Mm. You feeling better now? A little bit. I, um... I talked. With uh, Zora and Lupus. Well, actually, Lupus mostly just. Uh, I think Lupus may have been trying to kill me. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna raise an eyebrow at that. She gave me a hug, I think. Ah. It was painful. It was like that one time when I fell off the tree. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, it can be like that. Now that she's not here, I can actually say this because I'm actually scared of talking about things like this when she's around. I mean, I don't think you should be scared of her. He looks at you and says, she's really scary. I mean, so am I. Well, not scary. <laughs> Me just giving him that knowing look of, oh yeah, I really remember uh, your look with those fucking bagons. Okay, that's scary, but you are not scary. You're only scary when you are evil. Hmm. But right typical child logic. But right now you are not, you are, you are not scary. <laughs> um. So Lupus is only scary when she's hugging. <laughs> and I'm only scary when I start fucking killing. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess that's a relief. But yeah. Is there anything you would like to do? Hmm. Are the Team Iron gonna be staying here for much longer? Uh, you are pretty sure that, uh, so eventually, uh, Obstagoon also, like, kind of gets knocked out. And, uh, Jolteon is kind of just looking them over, very visibly thinking that it's probably time to go to bed. Need a help with dragging them? She looks at you and says, nah, it's alright, it's alright. <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah, they really should learn about their drinking. She opens her mouth for a moment and actually shakes her head and nods and says, yeah, you're all right. They should. Hmm. It's gonna, it, this, this, this is gonna bite them in the butt. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure they will be actually dying in the morning. <laughs> No, what I mean is like, especially Amphi, I don't think I've seen Amphi not a drunk in like, months. Mm. 
Uh, He's really been living through that whole federation thing. Uh, Jotian actually reaches uh, into Amphorus's uh, into Amphorus's bag and shows you how Amphorus's bag is full of bottles with some kind of red liquid. Oh. Yep. Yeah, Jotian just puts it, puts them all back in, closes it, looks at you, and says, "Yeah, Amphi has a problem." You know, uh, there's a healer in the in here, and maybe she could help him. Uh, she shakes her head and says, "The problem is that Amphi doesn't want to be helped." I mean, we. Uh, uh, one of uh, our uh, guildmates was addicted to, uh, let's call it, uh, fairy dust. Yeah, do not. She did manage to help him eventually. You no, know, the problem is we kind of need to want to be helped. Well. Just beat him up into wanting to get help. Easy. Do I look like I could beat up Amf Amphi? Oh, you don't think you're strong enough? I know I'm not strong enough. <sighs> when I say in our group, I'm the weakest. Ah, come on now. Uh, she gives you a, a deadpan look and says, I'm actually honest. Hmm. <sighs> well, at least it seems like you are probably the only one with some common sense. Uh, she shrugs and says, you, you gotta. Yeah. As an as an EV uh, on the continent of sand, you you need to be, you no, know, you need to be fast. You need to be smart. You need to learn how to take the punches. Yeah. But this Amphorus guy, he he really should at least start trying because at this rate, he's just gonna drink himself to dirt. It's complicated. What happened to him anyway? Well, uh, she looks at him, then looks at you and says his um, his partner stayed a guild. Oh. Well, fuck. At least with me, it was really easy. Me and I gonna be just kind of decided to go together. Amphi just kind of went with us, mostly because he was drunk and we just took him. Because we knew that he, he was the next. And Obstagoon just went with us because he wanted to go on an adventure. A little band of misfits you are. Say that again. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what happens when three of us are from a mystery dungeon. Igon is the only one who's uh, who's a legit townie. Hmm. Well, okay. Anyway, we are gonna be going now. I, I'm just I'm I'm gonna carry Amphi, and uh, Igon is probably gonna carry Ostagoon. So yeah, uh, good luck with whatever you guys are doing. See ya, Ram. Yep, and Jotun just like goes and you know does her best to pick up Am Ampharos. Uh, you know what, I'm actually gonna help her. You sure? Yeah. Alright. She's just gonna sigh, but she's not gonna say no. And yeah, uh, Igon does actually take Obstagoon, and uh, together 
you do actually manage to uh, deliver both uh, Amphoros and Obstagoon into their room. Alright. Uh, Igon literally just takes uh, Obstagoon and just flops him on the bed. Face first. <laughs> no fucks given. Uh, uh, Jordan is a little more, uh, a little more nice uh, with Amphoros. No. Yep. Eventually, Jotun just looks in and says, ah, well, thanks. <laughs> you really didn't need to do that. I mean, why would you need to strain yourself like that? It's just... I guess I'm just not used to... other guilds and Pokémon from even other teams helping each other. Where I, come, where I come from, you just had to be the best. Well, see, I don't exactly know the situation in the... Well, any guild. But I prefer when teams are actually helping each other. That is so nice, but... How do you trust each other? Hmm. What do you mean? Other guild or other teams? Well, don't all teams compete against each other over jobs? I mean, yeah, but you don't need to be an asshole about competition. This place has a very different mentality from ours. And maybe for the better. Anyway, we have it under control here, so again, thanks. The last thing that you will see is that uh, Jotian and Flygon just give each other a hug before uh, laying down on a bed together. Alright. So I'm gonna go back to Meowstic and I guess I'll start helping out with cleaning. Yep. And uh, Shinx is also just... Shinx is gonna get a broom and he's gonna be doing his best to just like br broom the entire area. Uh, the moment they are gone, Mnyaosti is going to exhale like a massive burden just fell off her fucking heart. Quite a rush, eh? Uh, you see her uh, pull out one of the bottles, uncork it, and she doesn't even pour it for, for herself, she literally just starts drinking it from the bottle. Man, what's with this town and everyone here just having drinking problems or drinking solutions? Uh, if she looks at you and says, can you even blame this place? <sighs> yep, she just looks at Zora, Shinx, Draclog, thank you. <sighs> no problem. Yeah. She's just brooming. She's just going. <sighs> they're gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna be here for at least a week, if not more. Maybe yeah. they'll learn to behave eventually. Seriously, 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 why, why our place? Why not go to Treasure City or something? Well, you probably heard why they don't want to go to Treasure City. Yeah, I know, it's just... Gosh... They could have gone to a different continent, they could have gone literally anywhere, why us? Well, because this is a relatively small and quiet town. And for a really long time it didn't even have a guild presence. Ah... <sighs> Anyway, thank you for your help, guys, again, and, um, uh, is there, is there anything I can help you with at all? I'll just, uh, get a good night's rest. I'm probably gonna be closing for today, honestly. Yeah, I can't blame it. I need some, uh, for once I do need some actual rest. 
And I can't imagine people in this town actually having a rifle. I know, right? <laughs> Wanna say... You are gonna do this thing, Myris not drinking. Can I be honest with you guys? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you guys set up the guild. It's gonna make things a little easier. Well, that's what we want to do. Make things easier for all the people here. Speaking of which, um, I have a little project and I'm gonna be setting up a mission for your guild very soon. Oh. Yeah. But don't worry about it. Yeah. Well, can't wait what you have prepared for us. Just nods. But yeah, eventually you guys uh, will be done with cleaning. And uh, when you guys are done with cleaning, uh, Meowstick will, do, will attempt to give you money for it. Nah, there's no need for that. Zora, will you take money? No, I'm just saying, I wanted to do this because I want to help the town. <laughs> yep, she thinks she's not going to take money either. You know, she's just, with a smile, she's just going to sign, so it's typical. What do you mean? <laughs> anyway, you guys should probably go get some rest. It's getting late. Ah, you're the one, Doc. I'm gonna be getting a rest too. If anything, you, if anything, you being here is holding me back. She says, with a smirk. Have a good rest. You too, Zora. Hmm. And once I finish the chair, I'm leaving. Yeah, the chair looks functional. As long as Snorlax doesn't sit in it, it should be okay. Hmm. I mean, there was a Snorlax in this town. Yep. It's foreshadowing. He's gonna sit down, break the chair, and get angry. <laughs> And then he's gonna break the table. Oh, I fucking had it with your francs, nerd. Alright. And you guys make it back to the guild. And my god. That was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably what pretty tired at this point. <laughs> yeah, it, it is like, it is like 11 p.m. So, Eevee. Right, 11 p.m. Yes. Eevee. Yes. Uh, when you would arrive at the guild, what would you do? I'd probably just go, first of all, check on Lucas and make sure that the uh, prisoner is not causing too much trouble. Yeah, so when you would check up on, uh, on the prisoner, uh, uh, you would see that the prisoner now has a, a really... Uh, funky uh, rope technique on him. Uh-oh. Yes, uh... As in, uh, his neck is literally connected to the wall. Alright. <laughs> For a moment I was scared that she fucking hanged him. No. <laughs> oh. You know, he literally has an impromptu rope collar leashed to the wall. He's awake, he looks at you and says... And, and, and just says, I hate you all. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm sorry it has to be this way, but yeah, you're going to, oh, you're getting locked away for a long time. Hey, hey, Evie. I'm just going to kind of half listen, expecting some scathing retort. Hey. And, uh, could you could you could you loosen up the ropes on 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 my on my arms? I mean, I could if that wasn't an obvious ploy to get looser for you to escape. He just sighs and says, "Hey, can I blame you for trying?" No, I don't. I probably would at least try the same thing in your situation. <laughs> and honestly, the Pucci and I is stupid enough that she might actually fall for it. <laughs> 
I don't know. She is hyper aggressive. I don't think she really has a soft spot for you to exploit, honestly. He shrugs. But, I mean, her heart is usually in the right place, I guess, even if it is in it shudders a little bit violent ways. Uh, you, su you suddenly feel a presence behind you, Evie. I'm just gonna wave a paw, like, backward and say, Hey, Lupus. Lupus back. Welcome back. I was just checking on the prisoner, making sure he wasn't planning on trying to escape. Lupus looks at him, looks at you, and says, Lupus wants him to escape. So you can <laughs> beat him up some more. She nods. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, uh... Let's try to avoid that, because, um, we don't want to intentionally kill if we can prevent it, so... Uh, Lupis yeah. shakes her head and says, Lupis no kill. Well, see, I might say, you know, fair enough, but we didn't want to kill his friends either, and that still happened, so. uh, Zangus just looks at you and says, ah, sure, sure, absolutely sure. Not talking to you. Anyway, we didn't exactly want to kill his friends anyway, so and look what happened. Uh Lupis touches her chest and says I want it. Yeah, okay, yes, you may have wanted to kill his friends, but I didn't. We didn't, my puck the guild didn't. But considering that it's very easy to do so accidentally, I'd rather you not let him free and then fight him. So, I'm just going to give her a pat on the shoulder as I'm heading back to my room. I'm going to say, just keep those ropes tight, please. She nods and just says, Lupis has no regrets. I don't... I don't regret saving those Pokemon, but I... I don't think I'll ever not regret killing some. Uh, Lupis actually looks you straight in the eyes and says... Lupis will protect Pack, but Pack needs to protect Pack too. If your mind is not in it, if your heart is not in it, then Lupis cannot protect well enough. I'm just gonna nod and say, don't get me wrong, I will do anything to protect my Pack. Doesn't mean that I won't hate what we've done. Uh, she actually looks at Zangus and says, that one is bad. Evil. Uh, she then looks at you and says, We are not. I'm just gonna nod and say, That may be true. But if we are not, Then that means we need to do everything that we need, that we can to stay not evil. And that involves not killing unless absolutely necessary. She tilts her head conf in, in confusion. Uh, just think on it for some time. Um, we can talk some more later. We all need some rest. You just nuts to that. And then I'm just gonna give her a, like, a small, like, you know, because I know she's not very affectionate. I give her, like, one of those, you know, bro hugs. And then just pat off. Uh, she will hug you back by squeezing you. I... Okay. You think you can feel one of your ribs pop? <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine ribs on Eevees have to be really tiny. And yet, somehow, they have two strengths. Yep. And two vitality. Yep. So they're actually surprisingly hardy, despite being so tiny. You gotta, you, you gotta considering how easy it is to, like, kill you. Yeah. I, I'll, like, reach a paw to, like, pat her on the head and say, I'll see you later. Yep. Puchina just uh, nods and says, Sleep well. Tomorrow, another hunt. Uh, we'll see. 
and then I will give her another another uh, small wave as I pat off. By the way, uh, as you as you go off, uh, you actually see Puchena uh, reach into one of the boxes that was here before, right? Uh, and she pulls out uh, something that appears to be uh, long and black. She looks at Zangus, who has somewhat of a horrified expression. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what? What is it? It's it's basically just a piece. It's, it's just a piece of wood. But uh, apparently, Puchera enjoys uh, tormenting the prisoner. Oh, phew! I thought it was something else. What did you think <laughs> it was? Considering the reputation of this, of the one of the previous guilds. <laughs> oh, that was the previous previous. Yo, know? like, don't worry. They they probably got rid of all of that stuff. Yeah, the most previous was the drug guild. Yeah. Hmm. The, the, the weirdest shit you can find from them is like uh, a jar of fucking drugs or something. <laughs> yeah, we found the jar of drugs. Just find a hidden space behind the wall with with like some fairy dust in it. It's gonna be conveniently colored blue. <laughs> but yeah, it, it is funny for Puchena to literally say we are not evil as she's about to torment the prisoner. Oh! I will look at her at that and say, please, don't. She looks at you, confusedly, holding holding the elongated black wood in her mouth. Just, uh, keep an eye on him without touching him unless necessary. If he tries to run, you can use the stick. But please don't torture him when he's unable to fight back. She shrugs and just spits it out. See? Good girl. Yeah. Uh, She's a violent one. Uh, when you say good girl, she actually blushes a little bit and just says, Lupe's good girl. You're just gonna nod and smile back and say, there you go. And then resume my trek for my bedroom. <laughs> yep, you, 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 you start leaving. <sighs> as you start, you know, like going to towards the you know the sleeping quarters, uh, Blitzer just waves at you as he's uh, about to uh, you know basically do the same. Oh, wait, what about you, Grookey? <laughs> uh. I guess just head to my room, kind of. Thing. Yep. Tired. Yep. You can definitely just like flop on the bed. Yeah, I'm definitely gotta do that. All right. Uh, eventually, uh, Zora, Shinx, and Drakloak arrive as well. It is fairly quiet right now. Oh boy. Shinx really <laughs> yep. just yawns and just looks at you guys and says, Well, I'm gonna be going to bed too. Night, night. Night, night. Remember to wake up early tomorrow. Uh, he looks at you and says, Maybe. <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> give him a grin. Then he vanishes in his room. On the other side, you, you guys can hear him just probably face planting into the bed. <laughs> Wait, what about you, Draclog? Hmm. Well, everyone else is probably already asleep, right? So, Zora did just go into bed, so probably not yet. I mean, at least in their rooms. Oh, yeah. Every, everyone else would be in their rooms, except for Lupus, who is, like, sleeping where the prisoner is. Alright. Well, I'm gonna 
Let's go to my room and vibe into sleep. All right, you guys managed to finish the day. Yay. <laughs> Yay. A long day. Yeah, it was a long day. So, since you guys are going to be resting, you can totally uh, spend your XP if that is what you want to do. Yeah. I have two. <laughs> I have 22. <laughs> I have 11. I'm waiting for a certain amount to spend it. Yeah, uh, I spent all of mine last rest. Alright, uh, by the way, I'm gonna borrow one die here. So, uh, I'm gonna move all of your die of the orange. Move move it onto orange when you are done with your leveling stuff and such. Alright. Um... Alright, right, uh, double check how much, how many points would these upgrade by vitality? Uh, ten uh, per points you have right now. Okay, so twenty for vitality. Yeah. Thank you, fingers. Fingers. And fight would be just eight points. If I have no points of fight? Uh, I believe we decided that fight being... Made. Oh, that's a, that's an actual... Yeah. At, that, yeah that's that's the top level, the, the fight survival contest. Yes, so that one would be a skill, so that's 8 times the current score, or 6 if you have, if you have none. Yeah, if he doesn't have any, so that would be 6 for first one. Yep, 6 there. Six for athletic, right? Because that's nothing there. Yep. Yep. And one, so six, twelve. So that'd be. Uh -huh. All right. Uh. Six. What the fuck? For this one, I recommend the greens. Yeah, that's what I, was, I was like, wait a minute. For... I'm not going over there. Um... Six, twelve. By the way, there's like one more scene that I want to do, guys, and then I'm probably gonna end the session because I'm kind of drifting off. Yeah, that is I fair. Feel. I'm really sorry. No, it's fine. I failed you. No, you have not. You <laughs> have actually done the opposite. You have done very well. All right, so I got one in fight, one in athletic, and one in perform. Okay. Okay, we are just waiting on Ember. And because I went up there, that's three levels, All right? Uh, can someone explain it to DJ? I'm really sorry. Uh, so, when it comes to, like, fights, that would be, yes, that, since you put one point in fight, that's one level. If you ever level anything beyond, like, one level, then you get that, uh, how, whatever level you're putting into, that level of levels. So if you were to put a second point in a brawl, that's two levels, a third point in a brawl, that's plus three levels, etc. Okay, so yeah, one, so three levels, because I put one in fight, one in athletic, one in perform. Yes, so, so that's three levels, three levels, and also you get one level for every move you buy as well. Okay. Um, because technically I didn't buy Razor Leaf, I didn't buy anything of that, so. Right. Yeah, if it's a TM, obviously you don't get a level. Yep. Well, that's an egg move for me. Oh, right, that too, yes. Uh, so I am level 5 now. Alright. Alright. Show. Who wants to be the first to wake up? 
I shall. Me. Me. Uh. Alright, so Draculog or Yui? Yes. Well, which one? <laughs> you cannot say yes to either or. Flip the coin. <laughs> Alright, heads or tails, Aris? Uh, tails. Heads. Uh. Alright. So, Draculog. Yes. You're the first to awaken. Oh boy, another good day for murder. Oh my god. Oh boy, here I go murders again. <laughs> so yeah, you're in your room. What do? Well, get out of the bed, get out of the room. Alright, you get out of the bed, get out of the room. And... Uh, what do you want to do next? Well, what's the hour? It, it, it seems to be morning. Hmm... You you, you 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 woke up somewhat early. Ah, all right. All right, I'll give Bolt a few more minutes of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna go to the main room, I guess. Oh, See. Wait, so when you go to the main room, you actually uh, find out that uh, you are not alone here. Oh. Yeah, first things first. Uh, there is uh, everyone's favorite. Yeah, uh, uh, Linone is there uh, with, with a pack of uh, messages awaiting someone. And uh, there is also another familiar side here. Yep, uh, there is a Shuri cast one. Ah, hello there. Caspar looks at you and just says, um, I'm here to join. Oh, really? He nods. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, Linom uh, clears his throat. Yes, hello Linom. Uh, How's your day? Well, it kind of started. Anyway, uh, I I have a guild message for you. Well, oh, I actually right. I actually have two messages. I have one for uh, uh, one for Shings and one for you. Me specifically? No, for the guild. All right. So, uh, can I leave the message for Shings with you? Yep, I'm gonna give that to him when he wakes up. All right, here we go. Uh, he gives you an envelope. All right, and yeah, uh, he then gives you a message from the guild. Let me take a guess in paw print. It is paw print. Those motherfuckers. I'm gonna need to write them with uh, with the fucking wonder mill. Please start using fucking unknown. <laughs> I mean, paw print is the normal language here, man. Uh. I can't believe this, it's this big of a problem for us. I know! Oh, uh, well, I think Finn was expecting at least one of us to have taken the natural Pokemon. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, Don't worry about it. But yeah, yeah Linum looks at this as any messages that uh, you need sending? Um, I'm gonna look at the uh, desk if the message that uh, Aris uh, left is still on the desk. Uh, what message was that? Uh, didn't you do a report on the uh, mission? The missions, yeah. I, I don't believe I left them specifically on the central desk. I did already give him the you know the in the investigation from the oblivion forest he's already gotten that one so that's probably what our current return mail is but the bounty for the survey team i still had on me because we had only just finished that uh you know no, no, give me a moment i uh, need uh evie forgot to do a thing so i didn't forget to do anything i have it ready to go yeah give me a moment I'm gonna rush to Evie's room, just barge in, 
Evie, Evie, you are you, Evie, Evie. You are being yes. assaulted. Oh you're God, you are being assaulted. assaulted. <laughs> well, I would imagine at that point I would probably already be awake and getting ready to start my day when he just bursts in. Oh. <laughs> uh, hey there. Uh, give me the thing about our last mission. Linon is waiting. Oh, he's early. Alright, that's fine. I'm just gonna pull the pre-prepared papers out of my bag and hand it over. And then also, also follow. Yeah, get your, get your ass here. We have a new recruit. Yep, that was the plan. Alrighty. I'm gonna give Linon the thing about the last mission we did. Yep. He's just gonna take it, put it in the bag and say, alright, thank you. No Have problem. a nice day. Yep. Oh, actually, you might want to hang out for just about like five minutes since uh, we have a new recruit here. I'm probably gonna need to send the uh, papers with you anyway, so better to get it done now. Oh, alright. I'm gonna give uh, Castform a wave. Hey there, decided to join us, I see. Yeah, he nods and just says, yeah, I um, I was thinking about it and I've decided to, to finally do it. Oh, that's awesome. We definitely are a the more the merrier type here. So, I mean, heck, if we can get one more, we can actually finally break into two teams. Yeah, he just nods and says, that would be kind of nice. I'm just going to nod at that and say, well... Uh, let me go ahead and get the paperwork ready for Lenone here, and then we can make things official. I'm just gonna quickly trot behind the counter, go through the papers, fill out the new member forms, put it in a nice envelope, seal it. Pretty much just mention, hey, Castform is joining our guild, we will provide him with the necessary materials and everything, so feel free to add him to our registry. Then bring it over here. And hand it to Lenon. Yep. Lenon's just gonna take it. Uh, take it. Uh, by the way, uh, what is uh, Castform's name? Ah, that is actually a good point. Would you like it, your own nickname? To come up with your own nickname. Uh, so he looks a little bashful, but not. Well, go right ahead. We're more than happy to hear it. Um. I heard about your process that when you enter, you get a new name. I'm gonna nod at that and say yes. It's honestly a little free. And um, it's up to you whether or not if you want to choose your own or have one chosen for you. I think I have an idea. Go for it. I will lift my writing pen. Or charcoal, whatever it is. Uh, he takes a deep breath and then says, Monsoon. I like it. I will write that down and then hand it to Lenon. Yep, Lenon with tired eyes. By the way, he has like really tired eyes. Oh, did you get any sleep, man? He shakes his head. <laughs> you probably uh, should get some. Uh, he looks at you and just says, I mean, uh, Treasure City has been really busy. Oh god, what's uh, happening there again? Teleper work. <laughs> uh, he just shrugs and says, I don't know, but he's been keeping everyone busy. Everyone oh, at the, the pe uh, Everyone at the Pelipper uh, Embassy. Be right back. Uh, if I had a way, Finn, yeah. uh, doesn't he have a certain package for Not yet. as well? <laughs> Not yet. Remember, you, you, you guys have spent like three sessions on one day. That's fair. But yeah, then I'm just, uh, you know, takes everything, he checks everything, nods to himself and says, all right, I'm going to be going now, guys. All right. Good luck. All right. Stay safe. safe uh, I'm always, uh, not rain, not hail, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's so fucking dumb. <laughs> He's tired. <laughs> He's as tired as the DM right now. <laughs> What's not about the monsoon? No, that's a pretty mean. Exquisite. God damn it. <laughs> when I was writing that, I didn't actually think of it as a reference, but I guess it's a, it is a reference. <laughs> <laughs> but 
By the way, you know why Monsoon, right? Uh, <laughs> because of the his water form. Well, it it turns into weather. You know, like based on the weather, it turns into different forms. Yeah. Yes, I. That's why I was saying I like it. But yeah, Monsoon looks at you guys expectedly. Hmm. Uh, if I recall, he already has a backpack, right? Yes. Okay, so then I will head into the chest. I will specifically grab a one of our special guild shirts. I will grab a, you know, new guild seal for him. And then I will pat Back. over, give, give him a smile and say, uh, feel free to just trade this new guild seal out for your old one. And uh, here's your guild team shirt. Yep. He, he just puts on the shirt. It is a little big for him, but he, he it's, it's okay. <laughs> and he will put the badge on proudly. Welcome and, uh, to the guild one soon. Yep. Yes. He just floats in VR a little bit uh, excitedly, just twirls and says, Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> and uh, once everyone wakes up here in a moment, we will go ahead and take a look at what missions we have available to us. And then, you, heck, I mean, now that we have you here, we could probably even give someone a day off if they want it. Zora appears. Oh, hey Zora. Hi. We have a new member. I Cos see that. Cosmo Cos waves its little uh, twirly thing on his head. <laughs> That's adorable. Our whole party is just all adorable. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just compared to Team Iron, you know, being like, yeah, you need to be powerful, man, you need to be strong, and, you know, you you, you guys, you know, you're not exactly weak, but okay. you definitely mostly have adorable Pokemon in your team. Oh, come on, Jolteon is adorable. <laughs> I don't know, man, whenever Aris says our team is adorable, I just have that memory of completely bloodied drag cloak <laughs> with Bagram's <laughs> head in his mouth, <laughs> grinning. Ah, yes. The cuteness personified. <laughs> eventually, uh, eventually, even Blitzer shows up and uh, just looks at all of this and says, oh, Did I miss something? Oh, well, uh, yeah. We have a new member of our guild. Oh. Hi. Hey there. Uh, I'm Shocker. Oh, I I I'm Monsoon. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys get to know each other. I'm gonna wake up Bolt. <laughs> I start terrifying Bolt. So, <laughs> uh, so, did I miss anything else? I'm gonna shake my head and say, uh, no, just mail. Oh, we got mail. I'm gonna nod and say, yeah, we got uh, the mail in today, but nothing for, like, uh, nothing specifically for you. Okay. I will actually even pad back over to our mail and take a look at it. The guild mail, not not bolts. Yeah, I have bolts. Okay. Well, uh, Evie, you can read uh, the mail. I will pull out my reference book with a sigh. All right. So it takes a few, but you slowly start uh, translating that... Um... So it is not actually, well, it is, but also not really what you expect it to be. Because, yes, you do actually get uh, confirmation of uh, successful missions, right? Mm -hmm. And it does come with a package, the, all of your rewards. But there is a piece of paper here that has uh, basically em emergency written on it. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh -oh. And uh, this here information is that you are being uh, forewarned about uh, in inspection that will be done on your guild very soon. Does it go into any details as to what they expect of the guild? Uh, it is basically just a preliminary inspection on the activities of the guild because of uh, a dark past. Ah. That is understandable, then. <laughs> uh, Making sure not, we're not doing drugs or... 
There will call. be there will be a member of the guild association coming over in the next uh, one or two weeks, uh, probably arriving incognito without you actually knowing that it's them. That is fair. Looks like cash form. <laughs> we, we've known him before we like had I know the whole process. I know. I'm just <laughs> I'm among us. Also, that puts us down to uh, I think it's one shirt left, so we should probably also send mail to the uh, guild association at some point. Not right now, obviously, because he's already gone, but that we're gonna need more shirts. Yep. Don't worry, I could probably suss out who's the incognito Pokemon. We've, we've still got plenty of bags, though, surprisingly, because, I mean, Puccina and now Cast Form both, both have already had them. I've already had them. I think Dracloak? Yeah, Dracloak and uh, Grookey both had it's them because, because they were... It's because you guys are recruiting fucking mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the only people who actually needed bags was... Bolt and uh, Zerua. Yeah. And we, and I took mine from that cave. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, so literally just Bolt was the only one who actually needed one then. But yeah, so... Oh, and and, and Shocker, that's right. But yeah, uh, Dracloak, you went over to wake up uh, Bolt, right? Yes. Alright, so you, you're, you're floating in front of his door. I'll sneakily open the door. Uh, I'm not even gonna have you roll because uh, Bolt is dead asleep. <laughs> he's snoring and he's drooling. All right, I'm gonna float over him, and I'm gonna pat, uh, like tap him on the shoulder. Uh, his eyes shoot up. He looks around. He looks at you and says, "But why? You got mail." Huh? You got mail. I'm gonna present him an envelope. Uh, he lazily looks at it. I mean, go on, take it. It's for you. I'm not moment. gonna pick your mail for you. Uh, he looks at you and says, Can you even read? I mean, uh, <laughs> at home, yes. If it's in paw print, no. He just nods and uh, reads it. He, he opens the envelope and uh, reads the innards. While he's reading, I'm just gonna quietly say, Man, I gotta learn this fucking language. And uh, his eyes suddenly go wide. Uh huh. That's not a good sign. He looks at you and. He then says, it's from mom and dad. Mm -hmm. Uh, what? Mm, what? what? Yeah, yeah, it's from mom and dad. See, over here, see those, uh, see, see these paw, paw prints? It says rhyme, right here. That's mom. Aww. Yeah, and over here it says, it says sparks. Mm. That's, that's daddy. It's as, uh, they, it's as they woke up. Did it say anything else? Uh, he continues reading. Excitedly, by the way. And uh, eventually he looks at you, glee in his eyes, and says, My, my, my parents are waiting for me in, in a place called the Lost Wilderness. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, uh, I'm gonna actually roll instinct on this place. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure my guy would know it. Just roll me. Alright, I'm gonna... Will. <laughs> <laughs> One pass. Uh, I'm not getting any weird feelings about this. Uh, it's... Crackhook's the only one who knows this right now. We're just over here, unaware. Well, we can always ask uh, Lupus. Uh, 
you know that doesn't sound like a safe place to meet up. I mean, it's from my mom and dad. Why would they why would they send me somewhere where it's not safe? Uh, Finn, uh, weren't his parents like kind of scally boys last time I've seen No, them. they were actually really well preserved. Mm. But they were definitely uh, very dead. Y you saw this. Yeah. Oh, God. But yeah, Shinx actually, okay, you, you are seeing something that you never expected to see. Shinx willingly leaves the bed and immediately starts rushing uh, towards the door. Oh, shit. Also, this is, this is me. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, guys, when you, when you are over here in the main room, right, enjoying the fact that cast form uh, is joining, right, you suddenly see Shinx uh, bolting, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, that was accent upon, uh, bolting towards you, uh, holding the envelope in uh, in his mouth. He, he takes it out and immediately says, Mom and Dad, send me a letter. What? Uh, 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> they, 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 they want to meet meet with me in a dungeon. Um, what dungeon? Uh, uh it's called uh, it's called the Lost Wilderness. I'm Evie? just gonna ask. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, you 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 you. Smells like a trap. Your little badge just uh, starts vibrating. I'm gonna look down at it. Yeah, it's vibrating. You you hear a ting on your map. Oh. I will pull out my map and take a look. Uh, you see that the uh, yeah Los Budrones is definitely a a place. I'm just gonna sideline uh, at Castform's reaction to the name of that uh, dungeon. Uh, Casper just looks around and just, just obviously doesn't actually know this place. Uh, oh boy. Um, hmm. Give me a moment. I'm gonna uh, go to Lupus. <laughs> right. uh, you open the door into the prison area and Puciena is already awake and she's just looking at the Zangus. Hey, menacing me. <laughs> hey, uh, hey Lupis. Uh, hey Zangus. Uh, do any of you know of the uh, what was it called? Uh, Lost Wilderness. Uh, Lupis looks at you and says, "Yes." All right. Could you tell me about it? Dangerous place. Mm, how dangerous? Very. Heck, never go there. I'm gonna look at Zangus. Uh, Zangus just looks at you and says, hey, just go there. That's gonna make things easier for me. I mean, is it really gonna make things easier for you if you die from starvation? He thinks for a moment and says, shit, you kind of have a point there. Yeah, so if you don't mind, uh, tell me some more about uh, uh, Lost Wilderness. Uh, Zanker just shrugs and says, I don't know too much about it. I know it's a uh, no-go place. Uh, Lupis looks at you and says, As, uh, is holy place. Holy place? She nods. To whom? The forest guardian protects it. Wait, forest guardian? She nods. Oh my god, I don't remember which one was a fucking forest guardian. Cresselia? No. No. Fuck, the Aris, DJ, do you remember? Mm. In the, the last one? <laughs> Lost Wilderness. 
The Lost Wilderness, yeah. I don't think we've ever been there, which means I've probably never seen it, so I would have no idea. Yeah, I... uh... Uh... Bellaby? Oh, yeah, Lupus just looks at you and says, we should not go there. Oh. Hmm. Uh, Lupus uh, then, like, uh, quizzically looks at you and says, why Frack wants go there? Well, I don't really want to go there, it's just... Uh, Bold got... Uh, I, you know, I'm gonna close the door before I start talking about it. Uh, Bolt just got a letter from his dead parents that they want to meet him in the Lost Wilderness. Uh, Lupis thinks really hard, and then nods to herself and says, If parents dead, then they, then they dead. Yeah, it's a trap. So, uh, got Celebi, right? She nods. I, I'll be honest, I don't remember jack shit about Celebi. Just, it's that really weird, cutesy, greed little thing. Okay, uh... So, Frack, in the Mystery Dungeon, Celebi has... Basically just slightly lesser power of time than Dialga. Oh. It literally is a Time Lord. Oh my god, we are going into fucking Doctor Who territory. <laughs> well, Doctor Who, if Doctor Who was one, cute, two, female, and three, like, inherently capable of controlling time. And really into grow vials. And really I mean, into, and really thirsty for grow vials for some reason. Well, Doctor Who's only one of those things now. Oh? Female. Oh yeah, Doctor Who is female these days. That's the only thing Doctor Who has a common. <laughs> Celebi. Hmm. Oh boy. And this is where we are going to end the session. Yeah. Alright. Yes. <laughs> you got, uh... Shings got a letter from his dead parents about going to a faraway dungeon uh, that has Celebi as uh, its guardian. I mean, if it's a guardian, then if someone would attack us, Celebi would do something about that, right? Well, Celebi is not a... Celebi is not entirely, like, known for, like, being dangerous and aggressive. I mean, I'm not talking about him just murdering them, but like, protection, right? Anyway, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the session. Uh, remember, you get XP for finishing the session. Yeah. Yay! Once you are done with your fingies, move the D6s of the orange, and I will, I will save the table again, and then I will go to bed. Four more experience. Then I can get my move that I want. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the session. Fingu says is very oh. tired. Yeah, I'm also very fucking tired. Did you? You done? Oh. You, you done over there? Uh, yeah, but just right. grabbing it right now. So. I have yet to eat dinner. I'm so sorry. Same. I'm so <laughs> sorry. You guys should eat. I, I, I feel like I feel bad, and I feel like I'm the only one who ate while while playing. Uh. Anyway, go to sleep. Anyway, bye bye everyone on the stream. Bye. 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 bye.